now now survival is just the rules have changed, man. Yeah. You're used to being a sigma male, man. <laughs> now it's hard. Now you gotta pay bills. Fuck, man. I can't be sigma male while I pay the bills. Fuck, Fuck that sigma, shit. Sigma male, don't pay your bills. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Trash Taste Podcast. I'm Joey and I'm with the boys. Hello. Hi. Was that the intro? Yep. Man, man, intro, Joey intros have really gone downhill in the past year, man. <laughs> Maybe oh, like damn. salty salmon yeah, spices or whatever the fuck. What you are you, the are fucking started? YouTube comments? <laughs> <laughs> I like the old intros better. I like the old studio better. <laughs> Yo, I remember when Joey put effort into his intros. <laughs> and then Joey, when- you remember when Joey cared about trash taste? Yeah, <laughs> right. Too, me too. <laughs> yeah, I remember when just- like half of my intros would get the episodes demonetized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so annoying. Yeah. We lost like thousands of dollars. <laughs> Joey, one of the couldn't resist being Australian. Because Joey, Joey was just being seconds. Australian. Yeah, I can't, I can't help him. I have, to, I have to fight the Yosh to say all the bad words. Yeah. Can you guys tell I'm absolutely ripped today? I went to the gym the first time in two months. I was about, oh. I'm like, what? I'm absolutely <laughs> pumped right first now. First time in two months? First time in two months, so my ta- body is dying. So you signed up to the new gym at the, your new place. I did, then. I did. And it's it's different and the etiquette is slightly different. Mm-hmm. So it kind of threw me off. Wait, did you sign up by yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Impossible. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I was trying to remember how I did it. And it was confusing because- It was he, all a blur. He was, he was <laughs> He was asking things, and I was like, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, that, that's just every interaction I have with a Japanese person in Japan. They ask so, me something, and I just say yes. Here's how good my Japanese has gotten to this point now. Yeah. now I can. It's kind of like I'm, I'm kind of filling in the blanks. Mm. Uh, it kind of feels like you're doing one of those Mario Party mini games where right. you, you see a part of the sequence and you're like, I think I know where the sequence is going. It's like yeah. going into a Mario Party game without looking at the controls, right? It's like, 100%, I, th- I, think yeah. I, I think this yeah. is how it so works. Now, now I, I'm getting to the point where I'm, I'm, I'm accustomed to w- the normal flow of signing up to things. Okay. So I mm-hmm. kind of understand what they're saying. And I understood most of what was told of me. Okay. And a lot of it was just like, hey, Read this, and I'm like, oh, so, so. It was just really weird when they pulled the knife out and maybe signed something by blood. You know? <laughs> it's like, oh, that's you know, when I, mean, I guess that's uh, tradition. The, the rectal exam was a bit weird, but uh, <laughs> you know, the probe was, was a little longer. So, so, so did they, the signing up take as long as the original sign no, up? That we no, had? no, but I so I signed up to a uh, uh, Anytime Fitness, which is oh, oh, yeah, Anytime yeah, Fitness, yeah. okay, yeah. American chain. I'm pretty sure. Is it? I don't know. Can we fact check that. <laughs> Can we fact check that? Listen, when I went in there, <laughs> yeah. it looked American. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it must well, be they, American, all, they all do because all no, the gyms no, use previous... white people to uh, <laughs> advertise. <laughs> yeah, they do. advertise yeah, they their do. gym. They do, at the front of our at the front of our old gym, there was like it, it was like yeah. five banners of just like really attractive white guys and girls. Yeah, yeah. Like, it is weird. I've, I've it, never I, seen a Japanese person it, be advertised on a gym it, before. It is weird how in a Japan. Japanese gym it is. Just white people is like the standard. It's like I'm yeah. like I'm I think it's my I think it might just be because like. Going to the gym in this country is like a fucking luxury because of how yeah. expensive that but shit no, no, is. It's, it's not just that. Who the fuck, what Japanese time. person has time to go to a gym? <laughs> That's true. Oh, like, also, most, of it, most, most Japanese people are in shape, right? And the, and the people that aren't in shape, I don't think they care about being in shape. No. Yeah. They, they have like, they're like, I, I've got everything I need in my life. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. I need yeah. to be in shape. Uh, I've got my, my 7-Eleven. It's like, why, do, why are you working out? Aren't you just like naturally in shape? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> How did you get fat? How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> Basically. I mean, yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I signed up and I don't know. I I, I mean, I, I'm pretty, yeah, like I said, I'm pretty sure Anti Fitness is American. We, we had a fact check. Yeah, mm-hmm. Was it American? American? Yeah, I, sure I, it I just assumed yeah. it was American. Yeah, I, I, okay. That yeah. sounds American. Like Joy Fit 24. Yeah, that, that's not fucking American. <laughs> yeah. That sounds Japanese. That sounds like what a Japanese people think American people <laughs> yeah, think yeah, of gyms. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you're joyful and you're- uh, You're fit and it's yeah, open 24 hours. There you go. So it's a joy fit. I mean, Anti Time Fitness is much better. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> signed up to it. I uh, didn't really know what the fuck was going on. They took my yeah. picture. I got the key thing. I signed my life away. They asked for my card. Yeah. It, it worked out. So I, I believe I'm signed up. So that's good. I, I <laughs> walked in yesterday and nobody stopped me. That's so. good. That's one, good. One thing I've noticed uh, about moving is like, you know, having to cancel memberships and having to cancel stuff is like 10 times easier than signing oh, up to something. Oh yeah. Which is, like, it's the opposite in the West, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause like I, I was dreading having to cancel my gym membership. Cause I remember when we signed up to a gym membership, it took like 45 minutes to an hour <laughs> of just reading forms. Yeah. So I was just like, so me and Cindy had to go cancel our gym membership. And we said one word, we were just like, we would like to cancel our membership. Yeah. And we had to sign yeah. one piece of paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Took five minutes. Yeah. Took five. Yeah. Why can't signing up be that easy? Yeah, why, why is like, the- No leaving fees. Just yeah. like, yeah, use the gym until like the end of the month. Like, it's yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like everything you're not supposed to do as a business, right? Yeah. It's like why is like I love how 
how hesitant they are to sign you up to yeah. shit. It's like, are you sure yeah. you want to give us money every month? It's yeah. like, yeah, that's why I'm fucking here. Just let me yeah. in for Christ's <laughs> sake. <laughs> exactly. But then the moment you leave, they're like, oh, thank God. All right, easy. Here you go. Take it. Get the fuck out. It's like, like I had to right. change over my internet as well. And that was surprisingly painless. Cause yeah. they were like, no worries. Did you want to cancel your internet or did you want to move to a new place? And I'm just like, it's, it, is which one's easier? And I'm like, it's both the same. It's just what? Yeah, exactly. It's just like, yeah, where's the catch? Why, where's yeah, the catch? Yeah, but then why is it like such, such pulling teeth when you're like signing up for like water or gas at a new place? It's know. like, are you sure you want water in your place? It's like, yes, please. Thank <laughs> you. Like I only just, okay. So I moved to our current place, like what, five, almost six months ago, right? Mm -hmm. And I only just finished finalizing my water stuff. What? Really? Yeah, because like for some reason, cause I got like a new bank account and with it came a new card. And for some reason, they didn't allow me to use my new bank account because it's not okay. under the same name or some kind of Well, you bullshit. said you said the B word, bank. Yeah. <laughs> In Japan. That is true. And <laughs> started sweating five minutes ago. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, but, but I'd done it before at my previous place and it was pretty painless, yeah. right? So I was like, okay, I mean, you know, it's just changing a bank account. Like how hard could it be? <laughs> Famous last question, how hard could it be? <laughs> Nothing with the word bank yeah. in Japan is ever easy. But what I don't understand, right, is that, okay, so I signed up and I'm like, okay, I want to change to my new bank because yeah. like, you know, my money situation has changed in this new place. And they were like, sure, no worries. We'll send you a form. You can fill out all your information and then mail it back to us. I'm yeah. like, all right, email is also a thing, but anyway. So they, so, so I think about a month after that phone call, yeah. finally the form comes in. I was like, all right. I don't know why this took a month to send out, but sure, <laughs> Holy shit. fill it in in five minutes, send it off. <laughs> Two months later, oh my God. I get a right. phone call and they say, uh, so your bank is not, able to be used. Oh my God. And I'm like, Choto Mate. <laughs> you could have told me that on the phone three months ago. <laughs> Why is it now after all this like waiting and sending out a form that you're finally like, <laughs> So JK. They're, 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 they're gonna call you up and be like, yeah, by the way, the rate of inflation has yeah. changed uh, so significantly in the past two months that yeah, we're gonna yeah. need your details all over again. Just yeah, right. How have you been paying for water since then? So then? before it just used to be like a bank transfer like every month, like yeah, automatically. Yeah. But mm -hmm. since then I've had to like get the form. They mail you the form that says mm -hmm. the amount. And then I have to go to the uh, family mart yeah. or uh, the, yeah. the, the yeah, company yeah, yeah. nearby and, yeah. and do it by cash. Uh, yeah. Which just like uh, fucks me up because sometimes I don't check my mail every day. And then there was one month where I almost like got my water stopped. Oh my God. <laughs> because they just straight up didn't send me my form. And I'm like, and they, were, they called me and they were like, uh, so you haven't paid for your thing. And I'm like, you haven't given me the fucking form. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> am I supposed to be like, am I supposed to go, like, go to the life yeah. out of here to pay Am this I supposed water to bill? go to the company being like, uh, so I don't have the form, but like, trust me. <laughs> I owe you guys this money. I, I have <laughs> to pay. I, I have, have to I give pay. you this money. I, yeah. I've realized, right, that when I first moved here, I thought, oh my God, I can pay my bills at the, the local company. Yeah, 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 this yeah. is amazing. This is yeah. great. Yeah. Now I realize it's just to avoid banks. <laughs> it's, yeah. It's just like this whole cut, this country has set up a system where the banks just don't need to do anything, but they still get to have all your money. Yeah. Basically. What's up with that? Yeah. And they give you like, what is it like 0.001% no, 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 interest no, 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 or some no, no shit interest. like that? The, the interest gets wiped out by every every time you want to take out money. Oh, that's true. So that is true. Yeah, it's, it, like you you basically, there's less interest than the, P, the, the fees you pay for like any service. Yeah, Japan know. is the only country where like hiding your money under your mattress might be a better investment than putting it into a bank. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> it's probably safer as well. well people right? just don't spend money in the country. Like people just don't. No, they yeah. don't. Yeah. So they're like, why would we give you interest if people are gonna keep money in their bank? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, there really, there really weirdly is like a weird, like money saving mentality in this country, even for people who have the money to spend. So yeah, apparently the one of the reasons uh, why they didn't want to give more money out to people during mm. the, the peak of uh, the pandemic is because uh, people just don't spend the money. Mm -hmm. So they would just be giving money that wouldn't help stimulate the economy. Yeah. Because people wouldn't go out. Even if you gave them a thousand bucks, most people just, were just gonna keep it. Right, right. And not gonna, <laughs> like I would. Well, that's, that's surprising me because like domestic tourism is massive here. It's just a massive but industry it's a, here. But it is, right? It's like 90% of the economy. Yeah, yeah it, exactly, but right? But it's like, <laughs> from what I understand of the domestic tourism here, it is like a massive luxury. Yeah, most yeah. people can't afford to go, from mm. what I understand, and also don't have the time. Time, so yeah, it's more I, time I, I, think, I, right? I think the biggest resource for any Japanese person, especially working, is time. Yeah, how do like, you have time to do anything? Every, if you ever go to a Ryokan, right? Mm -hmm. If you stay there for two nights, I guarantee you're probably like one out of one hundred people who are staying there for more than one night. Oh yeah, yeah. everyone yeah. leaves the next day, yeah. like yeah. always. Yeah. I've noticed that. Like, if I go and park my car. 
It's full. Next day, empty the car park. Yeah. At like two o'clock because no one's checking in until like four. Yeah. And I'm the only asshole who apparently stayed, even though it makes more sense to have a hotel room for at least two days because you at least get one full day of the room. Yeah, that, that never made sense to me because how can you enjoy the day? Because that, that you means you spend, yeah. you, you, most Rio can, you can't, Check, like, in till check like three in or four. until three or four. And they won't let you check in early as well. Yeah, even I, if there's space, yeah, yeah. even if there's space with Japanese hotels, and it's not just Ryokans, it's hotels yeah. as well. Even if they have space in the hotel, you still can't check in until the check-in yeah. time. I feel that the problem though, is that like the the main demographic that goes to Ryokans for one night is usually like retirees, Yeah, right? And, and, and to them, <laughs> The, the Dyokan itself is the exploring. Right, but right. you know what sucks? Like, is the fact that you don't even get like a full 24 hours when you buy one night, yeah. right? That's, yeah. that's why I, like, in my head, I'm like, this is so inefficient. <laughs> that is true. This is why like you should never ever like, even if you stay in, like let's say you're staying in Kyoto, right? Mm. You, should, yeah. you should never change hotel every night because you're just wasting. Yeah, yeah uh, wasting time. Wasting, wasting, time. Uh, wasting time that you could have in the hotel room. Yeah. Like, yeah. You get the breakfast as well or whatever. Mm. I don't know, you you know, carrying your bags around is just a pain in the ass. Yeah, like, yeah plus, plus like <clears throat> when I'm on holiday, when I'm staying in a hotel or Ryokan, when I want to relax. I don't want to think about what time I need to wake up the yeah, morning after. That's true. Right? I want at least one day when I'm just like, if I want to lie in, I can lie in. You mm. know, you know, I, I want to crack some beers open with the boys. I want to, you know, may, maybe lie until like 10 o'clock, you know, whatever. Yeah. But in Ryokans, they, you have to wake up at eight because most people are only staying there for one night and yeah. you know, they, they have to wake up early to check out. Yeah, the next day. On, on Japan side of things, like having to sleep in or getting to sleep in is like, the privileged way <laughs> of enjoying it. It's like, wow, it's you, so, it's, it's you, so, you, you, you would stay here for more than one night? What the fuck, you privileged bitch. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, there was, uh, I can't remember when I went to Ryokan, but I went to one yeah. and I remember I was just, I loved it, but then I was absolutely appalled that they made us check out at 9 a.m. Yeah. I was really? Like, is this privilege or, I don't know if this is my privilege I've, showing, I've never but seen I, that before. Like I've 9 a.m.? Not 9 a.m.? Bro, give me a chance to like yeah. brush my teeth. I don't even yeah. wake up at 9 a.m. Holy <laughs> shit, I'm trying to relax out here. You have to check out at 9 a.m. And I guarantee like earliest check-in is like four. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's <laughs> the thing. It's like, what are you cleaning for so long? Well, not surely this cannot take that long. <laughs> The, the one thing that I love about like American hotels is that whenever I've always asked for late checkout, mm. they've always given it to me. Like mm -hmm. if it's just like an hour extra, like they're always chill about it. Like sometimes they've, made me, they've charged me like 20, 30 bucks extra, but yeah. Yeah. Japanese hotel, I remember one time I stayed in a hotel room um, in Niigata yeah. Yeah. and the hotel room itself was $90. Yeah. For an extra hour, right? Mm. It was $70 just for one extra hour what? to stay in the room past 11. Right. And I was like, I was like, did I hear that correct? Can you, can you say that again? Like, watch it all, please. Like, I was like, 70? The room was 90. How does that make any sense? Tell me, like, sit That's, me down and because, explain. Because, any, because, because I think to them, anything past that time limit is an extra day. No, it's it's to them, they're offering late checkout without offering late checkout. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like, we got late checkout, but it's not really late checkout, no, yeah. but it is late checkout. It's not late, it's not no. late at all. There's nothing late about it. The hotel was empty as well. It was like, like peak Corona. There was nobody staying here. Why were you trying to swindle me? Well, yeah, dude, they're, they're fighting yet. for their life, man. They need yeah. that oh, extra money, right? Because well, no I'll, one's staying there. They're like, oh, let's charge this guy. Man, 70 I'll, bucks. I'll give you, I'll, I, know, I know it's not culture. I'll tip you, man. Just leave me alone. Yeah. Don't charge me 70 bucks for this shit. I'll, what do I need to do? Who do it's, I need to it's weird though, 50 buck? It's weird though, because like most like high end Dyokans, especially, they, they're usually quite lenient with, mm. Uh, mm. you know, late checkouts and stuff. Like we just, uh, myself and Aki and a few others just came back from this Dyokan in Yamanashi. Yeah. And like they said the checkout was like 9 30. Yeah. But we cool. were there till like 11. And they were like, yeah, you're good. It's like, Okay, then why are you kick us out at nine thirty if that's the case? Can, did can well, we just did, they, did you ask them for late checkout or did were they just like No, just, they were they like did, no they they said the night before they were like, Oh yeah, so it's nine thirty checkout, is that okay? And we were like, uh, we might be here for longer, is that okay? And they were like Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, then why did you tell me that was the checkout time? Like, what oh the God. fuck? Maybe just most Japanese people just don't ask. Yeah, no, most, yeah, yeah, yeah. most Japanese yeah. people are like, those are the rules. We must yeah. follow set <laughs> rules. I noticed as well, they're like really anal about getting there. If it says 12, mm -hmm. they yeah. are so paranoid about checking out after like one minute after 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm it's like, because it's I feel just, that's just like Japanese culture in general though. Like we're yeah. very strict on time. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, every time- Cause nobody has it. Yeah. But, yeah. but hotels, yeah. it's like, I don't want to be like fighting for my life 10 minutes before checkout. Like yeah. it's just, I'll, 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 come, I'll come 20 minutes after, no yeah. one's going to care. No one, yeah, no it's one like, give your, no give your boy some time. No man. one has ever cared, man. I'm, I'm trying to enjoy this bathtub you gave me. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs>
It's like, how can, how can you enjoy it when you're stressed about time? And, and, and I guess that's yeah. why I'm so like confused as to why people stay in Ryokans for like one night. Cause I, yeah. I feel like you need a minimum of two nights to enjoy the experience. Three nights, if you really just want a relaxing weekend or whatever, that's, that's, that's real privilege in Japan. Yeah, right? like I, I'd never heard of anyone's like a Japanese person staying at a Ryokan for more than one night. Yeah. Because yeah. to them it's like, because to them that one night is probably the equivalent to like a week to some True. people. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, oh my God, finally, also, like a night where I'm not working and just get to like do whatever the yeah, fuck I want. Because another thing about Ryokans is that there's like, they really pressure you to go to breakfast and oh, yeah. I'm not really a breakfast guy and no, I'm especially either. not a Ryokan breakfast guy, <laughs> you know? Like yeah. I don't need a three course meal for breakfast, yeah. which is basically what those breakfasts are. Oh, it's an onslaught. American yeah. breakfast think they're big. Oh uh, no, no. Until they go, yeah, dude, a Ryokan Kaisingi breakfast makes American breakfast look fucking tiny. It's yeah. just death by a thousand bites, bro. It it's really like is. they just, Every, they keep giving you tiny pieces and they keep coming and yeah. they keep, and they won't stop. They won't yeah. stop. And you know, it, you know it's over when they finally ask like, do you want some tea or coffee? But by that point, you're already dead. Like, yeah, they've yeah. already stuffed you. Yeah. They've stuffed you to death. I, I actually felt bad when uh, everyone got mad at you about the breakfast tweet in your uh, in your hotel, uh. because it was, it was like one of the few times I'm like, I agree with Connor. No. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, yeah. I, you don't need that much food for breakfast. Well, you really don't. <laughs> I, I just, you know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a simple man for breakfast. I don't really eat it. I tend to eat it if I've got something big about to happen. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You know, we did the cycling special. All right, yeah, I'll have some breakfast because that's just a wise choice. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm about yeah. to exercise, but if yeah. I'm not exercising, I'm not eating breakfast. Yeah. Give me a cereal bar at most, right? I'm, mm. I'm, I'm not really big on it. I'd rather have a nicer lunch. Yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm not hungry when I wake up. No, no, I don't exactly. know how people can just wake up and go like, yeah, I feel like a buffet. Yeah, right no, now. because like if I have a big breakfast, yeah. uh, which I'm, I rarely enjoy the big breakfast because I'm mm. not hungry for breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Like that means I'm just not gonna eat lunch or that means I'm just gonna get hungry for dinner at this really weird time, yeah. which is like a bit early for dinner, but like too late for lunch, right? Yeah. Yeah. It like fucks up my eating schedule. The, the, the worst is being, you know, when you like, you're kind of hungry when you wake up. Mm. Yeah. You maybe you didn't eat too much the night before. Yeah. And then like, it really, you really start to get hungry at like 11. Yeah. That's the <laughs> worst time. Cause you're like, fuck, it's too early for lunch, but yeah. I'm holding out. But I don't I'm, want breakfast. I, don't, I don't want <laughs> breakfast, but I'm, I'm holding out here for my goddamn life. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I just, I think, it, I think what it is is that I, I hate the feeling of like having a food coma before 12 PM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, cause you, you're just tired. Do in you, the morning like, and I'm like, I don't want that. Do you down a bunch of water when you wake up? As yes. Well? I mean, yeah. I'm normally full from there as well. I, I drink- How much water do you drink? Like a, a lot. Like a fucking I, I, drink, I drink a lot of water. Do like a, you drink like, water, a lot of water just in general. No, I, I do. I, yeah. do I, I, I don't see why that's unhealthy. No, eh? no, it's not, I'm it's a not. fucking hydro homie. That's probably, why I am, Joey. <laughs> probably when Welcome I wake to the club. Up, I'll probably drink like 500 milliliters of water. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, I drink at least like minimum two or three cups of water. I, yeah, I also just want to get stuck in with my day. Like if I need a shower, I want to do that. I got to start working, right? I just kind of want to, I kind of want to get on with my day. I don't know. I don't really want to sit around and fuck around and just eat some- Yeah, like like things. having having like a fry up, that that means some, That means it's like a special occasion. You know, it's mm. it like, I can't have a fry up every day. I don't even recommend you have a fry up every day, but like no, even I cereal- <laughs> Nine out of 10 dollars. <laughs> right. Even just cereal to me is just, that's a big meal for breakfast Yeah, to me. Like I, a lot of people say breakfast is the most important meal of the day. I, I'm, I don't know how accurate that uh, is. No, that's the fucking cereal companies lying. <laughs> yeah. The cereal companies have tricked us, making us think that these fucking carb monstrosities are necessary. <laughs> I do not need cornflakes. I wake up. <laughs> Motherfucker, the, the most I'll eat for breakfast is Sounds a like single banana. Bit. Like is, I'll, I'll have it a- like, I don't know, they're, putting their, they're putting chemicals in the cornflakes to turn you gay. Sound <laughs> like all the frogs gay. That's why I eat frosties. Only many frosties. Like the most I have for breakfast is like a banana. And that's like, that's me done yeah, for the morning. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know the, the, morning. the fruit companies aren't trying to yeah. convince me to- <laughs> The fruit yeah. <laughs> big, big fruit companies the trying to convince The farming corporations. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because it's like the whole fucking uh, the whole uh, you know the whole the whole chart bullshit came from the the pyramid of what you should eat in your day and you should eat this much bread. Oh and shit. yeah, and it's just complete nonsense. The and food the pyramid whole, scheme. Well, yeah, and like the whole idea of that you need to eat these uh, cornflakes, which offers no nutritional value yeah. in the morning and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like and wheat was at the bottom, right? Yeah, it's like no, it's, it's, it's like fucking no, nonsense. It's not. <laughs> and it was it was all pioneered by these uh, you know companies, but way back that, yeah, that yeah, had yeah. an agenda to promote their stuff. Yeah. And of course, if, if if you're the Kellogg's team, you're gonna, and you you have your scientific research yeah. team, of course you're gonna be like, hey, 
Hey, uh, <laughs> Kellogg's scientific team, could you maybe, maybe you know, no, I'm not saying to uh, excuse yeah. the results, but like if there was some kind of correlation yeah. that said that Kellogg's was good for breakfast, yeah, it would really help us out here. That I'm, would. I'm not. I'm not saying you should convince the world that Fruit Loops is healthy or yeah, anything, just, but you know, just, just like just maybe uh, like hint at just it. Just saying, like if you because we really need to sell those Fruit Loops. You know, that, that contract for five years is you know not going to be necessary <laughs> if no one's buying cornflakes. So uh, uh, you know, I. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I I don't know what age I just was like no more cereal for me. I won't do it. I don't really ever eat cereal anymore. Uh, I, I wasn't I wasn't brought up in a cereal no, household, so I never got either. the craving of it. And then a toast household. Yeah, and then like cereal to me it always tasted like a sweet, like a dessert. Well, right? Depends what you go for. Yeah, it depends I, what you have. I will say. Uh, and I've just shat on cereal for like five minutes yeah, there, but I do like it. I do like bran flakes. I really really bran like, flakes are good. I love bran. Yeah, flakes. they're good. But like, I remember one time, <laughs> one time as a kid when I discovered bran flakes, I thought these are so good that I just will keep eating them all day. Yeah. So I had the whole box in one day. And um, that was me and Cocoa Puffs. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, but bran flakes is like <laughs> yeah. fiber oh on crack. Yeah, it's like, oh Lord, uh, yeah. my toilet activity that day yeah. was like, I was, I, I, I imagine they, they had the, they were filming Lord of the Rings Mordor scenes out of my, my bathroom than that yeah. day. It was fucking horrible. I was, nothing I was in than so a, much pain. Yeah, there's nothing worse than an overly fibrous shit. Oh my <laughs> God, I was, I, I was scared. I was genuinely scared. <laughs> and I was like 12 years old and I was like, why do they make them taste so good? Yeah. I fucking I love that. brown flakes, oh my God. I, yeah, I used to have a fucking horrible diet when I was little. Cause like, <laughs> yeah, but everyone does. They, your parents are like, yes, go on, eat those gummies that yeah. were made in the fucking Ninja yeah. <laughs> Turtle sewer. Yeah, because like, like, cause like my, my parents had no <laughs> retaliation on giving me and my sister like Cocoa Puffs and like uh, Fruit Loops and like yeah. Nutri-Grain and all the fucking like but sugary it, ass cereals. I understand, you know, now when you're a parent that it's it, it seems very difficult because you're already kind of struggling just to get by. The last thing you want to do is start like comparing Cocoa Puffs with, you know, it, it shuts the kid out for 10 minutes. Yeah. Give him the fucking Cocoa Puffs, right? Yeah, yeah. But then true. later on you're like, all right, maybe I shouldn't have given, given that kid's uh, four slices of Nutella bread every yeah. day. <laughs> maybe, maybe 50 grams of sugar for breakfast yeah. wasn't yeah, yeah. a good idea. I, I feel like it was a blessing that I didn't dis like, I didn't discover Nutella until like I was an adult. Oh yeah, yeah, same, same. Yeah, yeah, oh, my so, so my God, if I discovered Nutella as a kid, which yeah. a lot of people did, I like my diet would have been destroyed. Yeah, I, my, my, my diet was destroyed because it's like, oh, okay, you had cocoa puffs for breakfast, and then my mum would pack Nutella sandwiches for yeah. lunch, <laughs> and I'm just like, how did I not gain a million fucking pounds from yeah, that? Yeah, well, right. luckily when you're young, yeah. it's much easier. Thank yeah. God you're for young, my, young, my, young, young and Asian. Thank genes, God that's for my like, Asian I, metabolism. That, that's dude, like the like, life hack right yeah, there, right? Exactly. I despise that my mum kept up with like what was healthy because it just meant that I, I never got to eat anything fun, and all the kids around <laughs> me always. Had like, I remember the one, there's one kid. Okay, unfortunately, he was a bit overweight, yeah. but he always had chocolate spread sandwiches. Okay. And I just think that sounds so fucking cool. Yeah. yeah this man yeah. had literal chocolate bread, man. <laughs> I'm out here eating my fucking cheese sandwich like a peasant. <laughs> he, this, this man's eating like a king. He's getting chocolate spread with his chocolate yogurt, bro. Oh my he, God. This man's eating, eating good. But then, but then when he I- He wasn't eating good. No, 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 no. <laughs> he was actually dying. So yeah, he was dying yeah, slowly. Yeah. Yeah. His parents unfortunately set him up to fail. And, uh, you know, it, was an, it was a good. Yeah. And uh, when I tried it, I thought, oh, this doesn't taste good. No. <laughs> Does it not? No, chocolate spread doesn't. Uh, and like chocolate mousse and all that, I didn't really like that. Yeah. And, uh, I think chocolate mousse tastes good. I, yeah, uh, maybe, maybe just because it wasn't normalized for me, I, I hardly had it. So every time I did have it, I'm just like, oh, I'm having chocolate for a meal. This is a, <laughs> this, this is a <laughs> life exciting. hack right here. This is oh, exciting. Wow. I, loved, uh, I love Ooh. cheese strings. Cheese strings. Cheese strings are fucking strings awesome. Are good. But it's cheese strings are good. Fun. Even now I enjoy eating a cheese yeah. string. Yeah. Just peeling it off. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Like, eating I, eating I, I definitely enjoy this process <laughs> more. Yeah. Than I, I don't know, but like trying to get it as thin as possible as well. And just like, like trying to get like that perfect like oh. bit. It's just like, oh, oh yeah. Oh. oh. I don't know if they have this. Do they have cheese strings? Oddly in, satisfying moment. They have yeah. in Southeast Asia, cheese strings? Cheese strings? I, they don't think they do. It's just like this like- It's, it's, it's in like all the- It's rubber cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's in all the import like right. supermarket It's like stores, not right? real cheese. I don't know how they do- I don't know it's, how they It's not cheese real cheese, but it tastes that. better than real cheese in a sense, but then it doesn't, but yeah. like- It's, it's like I, cheese flavored plastic. It's right. it's like playing a mini game to eat cheese. And for some <laughs> reason that just adds to the flavor. I don't know why. Yeah, we, we, yeah, we've never had this. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. used to I used to do this thing when I was little. I don't know if I'm the only one, but like I would I wouldn't like rip it and then immediately eat it. Yeah. I would kind of rip it and try and like create a perfect pile <laughs> of like perfectly no. strung up cheeses. That's, that's like that's like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> and then I like put it in a row and I'm like my, my finest yeah, work. My name, my, name, my name is Joseph Kiru. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, I live, I'm 12 years old. I live in Melbourne, Australia. <laughs> yeah. My hobby is. <laughs> <laughs> I live a peaceful life yeah. in the school cafeteria. <laughs> <laughs> Making perfectly cut off string cheese, <laughs> displaying it. Oh yeah, never my god, cheese. never had a cheese. Never string. had it. You you're missing honestly, out. You're the, missing no, out. No, the, the, the flavor is shit. But yeah. yeah, I feel I feel if you're an adult and you've never had string cheese as a kid, it's yeah. a kind of a hu tall hurdle to like get no, into. No, the, the, there are some things that I try nowadays in Japan, and I'm like, I've never had a Japanese childhood, but I feel the childhood in this certain <laughs> snack. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. No, I get it, I get like so, some of the stuff we tried in the combini episodes, right? Yeah. With uh, with that that fucking crisp thing that was like that was just like one big what's it or whatever. Umaibo. Uh, oh yeah, Umaibo. And I'm just like I've I, I can feel I can see myself eating this as a kid. Oh yeah. yeah. But they also yeah. had like the fish cakes, which was vile. The like oh uh, the what the kamaboko. Maybe yeah, like the fish and cheese or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was disgusting. That was yeah. rancid. Yeah, yeah. I that's... mean, I had both of those when I was a kid, so <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, childhood. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Damn. Bro. I yeah. got just like, just anything that was like of that size, I would just try and feel it. Yeah, like I realized there are some things that if you didn't grow up with it, uh, you probably wouldn't enjoy it. Like nah, in, Thailand, in, in, in Thailand, we have this snack called taro, which is oh, like, taro. yeah, taro, which is basically just dried fish. Quiet Southeast Asians. <laughs> <laughs> which is just like, what, what is it? It's, it's just like dried fish, right? It's, it's just taro. Yeah, yes. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like it's like because when I think of taro, I think of the purple, uh, like sweet potato. I have no, no nothing to associate it with. <laughs> yeah. So so I remember like eating this as a kid and thinking yeah. this tastes amazing. And I brought some back to England and I gave some to my mates and uh, they had they had a bite and they were like, this is just fish food. And I'm like, this isn't fish food. Yeah, yeah, it's that, it's that, it's oh, that. I've had that one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Fish strings. Fish strings, basically. Fish, like cheese strings, but with fish. With fish, they, they <laughs> took the fish and they did this. <laughs> basically. Yeah. Stop making yeah. strings out of everything. <laughs> I mean, I just hear that story and I'm just like, oh, Vegemite is over here being like first time. <laughs> I never got Marmite. Every, every, every time, every time I like, cause I grew up with Vegemite as well. And every time I, give that to someone who's not an Australian and they eat it and they're like, oh, this tastes like poison. I, I, I bet it would taste good on toast. I, it's I, brilliant I, on toast. On its own, but not, not it's lovely on toast. I mean, it's that, that's I, just the brick coming out. I'll just put it on toast. Yeah. It'll, it'll <laughs> taste like it. It's spread, does it spread on toast? Yeah, I mean, we, we can make it work. We can make amazing, it work. But put beans on toast. <laughs> I've had, you know, you know what else it's actually good at with? It's on rice. Vegemite on rice is actually not bad. Because if you think about it, it's the same thing as putting it on toast. I don't, I don't know, like, I don't know who like you offended half, more, is that like, like the Australian in you dish? or like the Japanese in you, but you 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 somehow uh, like yeah. offended both your ancestors at the same time. Yeah, by saying definitely. That, Joey. My, like I, I definitely got disowned the moment I said that on camera. <laughs> the kangaroo sure. just died somewhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a, wheat, uh, a rice farmer just died somewhere. <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I tried it once because I I actually saw it on Japanese uh, on Japanese YouTube though. Yeah. Cause they were like, okay. So my Australian friend brought back this Vegemite thing. I had it on toast, thought it was disgusting. But then I thought I'm Japanese, put that shit on rice. Anything's good on rice. <laughs> Tried it and apparently the, the guy said it was good. So I was like, all right, well if the guy on the internet said it was good, it must <laughs> oh, be good. Well, obviously it must be true. It obviously then. must be true. If a Japanese guy said it on the internet, it must be even true. If the of the week says it's good, I'll try it. That's, exactly. That's mm -hmm. wow. Exactly. Try. So I tried it and I was like, okay, you know what? Not as good as on toast, but possible, possible. Yeah. I, I uh, sorry to go back to the gym. Mm -hmm. To bring it up again, um, I was in the gym and uh, I was watching an anime to go along with said gym experience. Is this the only time you watch anime, man? You've been talking about watching anime a lot recently. That's no, twice, twice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that is a lot. Well, you know, that I is was, a lot, Connor. I was, I was two more times than me. I was, in the gym <laughs> and I was like, I want to watch something, and then I yeah. saw the new season of Baki was out, and I was like, uh, Well, this okay. is good gym yeah, material, yeah. of course. And I watched it, and like. My God, if you haven't started watching Becky, like you need to- you need Okay, to I haven't it. seen this new season yet. Is it like- It's, this it is probably the greatest season of television I've ever seen. <laughs> this, is, this shit was so goddamn yeah. funny. Yeah. I, I, cause, I, cause part three Baki, which is the new season is my favorite Baki part in the morning. Honestly, I've, I was like trying to work out, but I just couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> like 
just some of the plot points. It, it, it honestly puts Jojo to shame at times. Yeah, yeah, how yeah. stupid this show gets. Part three is when it really starts to get fucking If you don't know ridiculous. what Becky is, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just men with muscles fighting and it's just so fucking Basically stupid. Basically a kid who's like, I want to be the strongest creature on the planet. And there's, then he does everything he so can to be the strongest there, creature on the planet. There's no way we can describe in words what Becky is kind of like. It's kind of like Jojo. You kind of just have to experience the, it. The reason why right? I think it doesn't do is as, as well as Jojo, I think it, don't, it doesn't have like an aesthetic that is quite as appealing as yeah. Jojo. Jojo <laughs> has so much, Jojo has so much style and stuff to go around with it. Yeah. Uh, but but I think Baki is almost more fucking stupid. Itaki yeah. Kieske is one of those like illustrators where I'm like, are you really good at drawing or are you really shit? So, so I, like, like, I don't right, know. Right, right, yeah. There are like, some scenes where I'm like, damn, that's an amazing shot. And then other scenes I'm like, I don't think this man has ever seen a human being in his life. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah, that is not how anatomy works. It's, it's, it's like you, you take a character and you're like, let's make this a muscly character. And you're like, what what proportions do you think is reasonable, reasonable for a muscly character? And then the author just went, all right, multiple Multiply that by ten, and then that's the that's like the every character, every designs. single character, even the weak characters are like built like brick shit houses. Yeah, right. It's insane. And like, I could tell you some plot points, and yeah. I will, and they won't even spoil it for you because no. it won't make any fucking sense, not. right? So, yeah. at one point during the show, the main protagonist, Baki, yeah. uh, starts shadow boxing. Right. That's my favorite so, fucking scene. So, <laughs> is it the mantis? So yeah, that as well. Yeah. But so he starts. He, this is it's like a ten year old kid. And he's like, look, I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna fight an opponent. And so he starts fighting the air. And yeah. then he starts fighting um, Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one, this one. Just yeah, yeah, Mike yeah. Tyson appears out of thin air. Yeah. And Mike Tyson <laughs> isn't there, but Mike Tyson is landing blows <laughs> and he physically, shit out of he, he physically gets hurt. And then he's fighting him back. And then the kid can see the spirit of Mike Tyson. <laughs> And then this just happens. And then he's like, and then the main character is like, oh yeah, Mike Tyson's weak. And then he just summons a praying mantis that beats the shit out of him. <laughs> yeah. But then he starts fighting the praying mantis that's imaginary. Yeah. 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 In, in, a, in a room, right? In, yeah. in like under yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and then the, like some military guy is like, hey, come fight. And then he's like, no. And then he just kidnaps George Bush. And it's like, what's going on? <laughs> what, is, what is going on? What is going on? You're talking about Biscuit Oliver, right? Uh, yeah, then he, yeah. he kidnaps. In this plot, he kidnaps George Bush. Yeah. So he can go to prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But like- So then he can beat up all the prison mates, Why right? would George Bush help you go to prison if, if, if you kidnap him? They would just, <laughs> what? It doesn't make any sense. I, I love how Bucky just like, it, it's so with the times. Like, you know exactly when part three was but real. Also, yeah. it's because like watching Bucky, right, is like, if you only learned about America through trash taste, yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's literally. <laughs> it's literally <laughs> it's true. The shit they they say yeah. about it. There's this one fucking. Uh, they I I had to pause it because I just fucking laughed my ass off. And uh, there's this one point where this American prison guard is about to die. And uh, the two Japanese guys, one of them saves, the Japanese guy saves the American and the other Japanese goes, why would you save an American? He's never gonna care about you. He's American. And I, I, just, I just paused it and it was like, what? What does that mean? What is that? Is this just like casual, like, what is this trash taste Amer podcast? Americans, America's like compassion? What is yeah, that? What is that? What is that? Like, never heard of that in my life. Is it not why an American was, get is, out? Is that part of the constitution? <laughs> compassion in my country? Why would you save an American? They wouldn't care about you. Yeah. Like, what? Wait, holy shit. What? What? <laughs> my, my, fa my favorite Baki is on the, I'll never fucking forget. And I can't wait for them to adapt this. I think yeah. it's part four. Uh, and it's when uh, Barack Obama comes out. Yeah. No. Yep. Cause he gets, so in the manga, he's like newly elected, right? Oh, so God. it's like, you know, the era of when this was written and uh, like Hama Yujiro, like the main, like the dad guy yeah. who's like the most powerful guy. He's like, he goes to, talk to yeah. Obama because of course he can. <laughs> yeah. He can just sit down with any president yeah, yeah. he wants. The, but, like the main antagonist could just sit down with anyone yeah. just because he's so built Because different. he's so built. It's just like insane. But like, but like Obama at first is like, I've heard of that man. I don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't trust him at all. But like, I, I need to see, is he the real deal? I need to see if he's the real deal. So then he comes into the room and he's like, show me you're the real deal. And <laughs> and Yujiro and Yujiro goes, all right, bet. And he grabs like a handful of sand and he crushes it in his hand and it's turns like it into a diamond. diamond. <laughs> I, I didn't even I didn't even know what he's gonna do. To and, know. and then Obama's like, 
you are the real one. <laughs> Shakes hands. So, so there's like, like this show. Big is, muscle. If you, if, you, if you haven't watched Backy, you like you are honestly doing yourself a disservice. Yeah. It is so fun. I'm yeah. just like, like cause just like, get past the start. It can yeah. be a little jank, but like the anime is really good. It's yeah. really yeah. funny. Cause like, I'm surprised that meme culture just hasn't picked up on Bucky memes, right? Okay. Cause so yeah. much of this is fucking memeable. <laughs> I know, right? Like, <laughs> that's one of the things wrong. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> so apparently, right? Because these, there's these three characters, Bucky, uh, the, the, uh, Yujiro Hanma yeah. and, and Oliver Biscuit, the yeah. other guy. Yeah. There's just three guys that are so dangerous and so powerful because yeah. they're muscles, right? Yeah. yeah. That half of the, the GPS in the world is is on <laughs> is in the air solely to track, track them. them. Yeah. <laughs> solely to track them in this world, right? And so whenever they run above two kilometers an hour, the GPS has to, all the GPS in the world has to stop working yeah. just to track these track three them, men. Yeah. So and there's a whole section where they explain that when people are driving or using their phone, yeah. the GPS just doesn't work correctly <laughs> because some of these characters decided to go for a light jog. <laughs> you can't make this shit up. Who thought of this shit? Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Like, like that's the thing. If, if people, if you thought Jojo was ridiculous, yeah, Jojo's witches, it could yeah. be as ridiculous as Barky at times. And, and you combine that with then also another part in another season mm. where Yujiro Hanma, again, yeah. the main antagonist meets Muhammad Ali and he <laughs> and he's he's like you could you can't beat me because you took off to do important human rights things yeah, yeah, yeah. but i respect you because you did that and it's like <laughs> What is going on? Is, isn't one of the antagonists like Muhammad Ali's son? Yeah, Muhammad Muhammad Ali's son. Yeah, yeah, Muhammad Ali. Ali. <laughs> but like he respects Muhammad Ali, yeah. but even though he's weaker than him because yeah. he went to, he, he took time about his career yeah. to, to argue for civil rights. Yeah. yeah. Great, we love yeah, that. Good yeah, on. But yeah. then Muhammad Ali Jr. is just like cocky. Yeah. And then he gets like- the, the, But then he like, the, he, but then he like <laughs> kidnaps like the main like love interest of Baki and then gets beaten up by like five dudes <laughs> for five days straight, just like over and over and over. There was also another scene I love where it's like Hanaya Makoto, who's like my favorite fucking character. He's like, he, he's like bored. Mm -hmm. So he's just like, oh man, everyone's weak. Everyone's fucking weak. No one can stand up to me except one man, Hanma Yujiro. You know what? I'm going to go pay him a visit. So he goes and pays him a visit. He's just like walking down the street and he's like, so we're going to start fighting. And he's like, right here. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> just in the middle of a crowd. But then a kid comes up and is like, oh my God, Yujiro, I'm a massive fan of you. And like hands him like a shikishi, right? It's like, mm -hmm. can you sign this shikishi? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, normally you'd think he pulls out a pen, does the sign. No, this is Hamma Yujiro. He's built different. Yeah. What he does is he stabs, he gets his finger, he stabs the shikishi and then slices it into four quarters with his finger. <laughs> and so it's like all broken apart. And the kid's like, Oh my God, thank you so much. And Hanayama Makoto is like, man, I'd be happier with that than a signature for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what is this scene? And then they start beating the shit out of each other. It's just like, it is insane. Like I, I'm, I'm sure if you don't know anything about Baki, that probably sound, make no sense. And yeah. it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't sense. make any sense. Don't, even, don't, even in context, it doesn't make like, sense. I, just, I, I still don't quite understand what the story is. No. And I've watched three seasons. Yeah. I, I don't get the point. Well, of course, because like, you've, you've watched that. the Netflix seasons. Yeah, right? yeah. And the and Netflix seasons aren't even the beginning of the story because the Netflix no. seasons are like- Starts a, season two. Yeah, so, it's, it's like a sequel to an anime or, or like the manga that mm. came out like decades ago. Yeah. And then it's been going longer. The, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. The CGI yeah. has gotten a lot better as well in this season. That's the good. CGI is kind of jank in the first season, yeah. I think. Yeah. But still, watch it. It is really. Funny. I mean, I, I would say like the animation, especially compared to JoJo, isn't as good. But oh, God, no. like, you don't watch it for the animation. You watch no, it for no. like the batshit crazy scenes. It's, it's just like it's just insane yeah. how they decide fights. And it is like imagine if a world was decided purely by muscle, <laughs> like. The whole it's like, it's like muscles can solve every world yeah, issue yeah, yeah. in the in the but world, like, right? Guns in this world are meaningless compared no. to muscles. <laughs> like mu guns don't do anything. Gu yeah. Guns are a suggestion. <laughs> Guns are for normal human beings and they don't operate in the same world that the, the characters do. Like it's, 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 it's like every single character is an Avengers level threat. That's just what, yeah. that's just what it yeah. is, right? And it's At every single time you think you've met the strongest character. No. They, he, they introduce some new character that is even stronger. Who's the main yeah. one in uh, the part three again? Is it the, the prehistoric guy? Is it the first human? Uh, the... No, no, no. So, it, uh, so I believe they've done what they did with the first uh, season. Well, te it's technically one season split into two. Oh, right? okay, I think so that's right. what they've done here. So the first arc is just through the prison. Yeah, yeah. yeah and okay, then okay. the next arc is the prehistoric. Yeah, the pickle, right? But the, this, this arc opens up with um, a press conference from like a safari mm. where 
like all these people died to this giant mammoth elephant, which yeah. killed hundreds of people and th- and, and uh, animals. Yeah. <clears throat> and in this press conference, he's like, one man killed this this five hundred meter tall man. <laughs> oh, that's what I and, and like. And then like the press conference is like, no, 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 it didn't. <laughs> and then it's like, what is this? What, what is this? What? 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 what <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> but that's what I love about Bucky is that every character has such as this batshit crazy backstory. Yeah. That the way they get introduced with this like fucking crazy backstory and you have like Speedwagon, like, <laughs> like basically a narrator just going over their entire backstory yeah. doing, doing all these like batshit crazy things. And you think it can't get crazier until it fucking does every time. I've like almost caught up to the manga and I'm like, how, how did they top the first human ever <laughs> Whoever lived, who beat a fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex <laughs> yeah, yeah. with his bare hands. So I, 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 even though I know sort of what the next arcs are about, like, yeah, there's mm-hmm. an arc about them fighting prehistoric creatures, right? Yeah. 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 It's like, what the fuck? They just bring him back to life and they're like, let's see if they stand up to the humans of today. Yeah, right? like, 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 like Jurassic Park, instead if they turned it in to test the humans, <laughs> instead of like test, seeing what the dinosaurs could do. It's like, let's see what the humans can do against the dinosaurs because humans are, humans are too boring in this world. Yeah, now. apparently. Because it's just like every, you know, n- no normal martial arts master is good enough anymore now. Yeah. But it's just so funny because like the main protagonist, which is the main character's dad is just like, that shit insane and also yeah. just hilarious. Yeah. It's just, he's so insane. <laughs> Some of the shit he says Amazing. is actually insane. And there's just the, the fact that there's a whole whole scene dedicated to him watching his son having sex. <laughs> And that giving, was that was what sold me on the first. Honestly, season. If, 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 I, if I can't sell you on Baki, it's that, that there is a scene where he is about to lose his virginity, yeah. and his dad comes in giving him advice. Yeah, in like the creepiest way yeah. on earth, and the most like manly. Way. Yeah, there, please, there are, please watch this show. It is insane. There the are, fact that people haven't watched this is just mind blowing. He, he literally squats down next to the bed and says. Eat her. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, fuck, <laughs> fuck every day. Yeah. Do fuck you- every day. Answer your instincts. Let your instincts take over. Become an animal. Fuck and when then, you want. And then to top it off, Bucky turns fucking Super Saiyan levels yeah. of like powerful <laughs> after he loses his virginity. No, no, no. They have, they have like a fucking, because like they actually have sex in yeah, this yeah, anime yeah. and they turn the they sex scene it. into a Jojo fight. <laughs> I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. He's just like, oh, sex. Sex is like a battle. <laughs> I'm gonna just- be honest though, it is in real life. Yeah. Yeah. You're like trying to think of like 10 things at once, make sure you do it right. It's the most accurate sex scene in anime, change my mind. No, on top of that, right? Not only is, the, is this the hypest sex scene in anime, yeah. immediately after that, you don't need this no bullshit Goku, Super Saiyan, I'm yeah. gonna save the world. This man powered up more than Goku ever wishes he could by losing his virginity. They, these people can sense that this man lost his virginity. They, they he, he was he was fighting. Oh yeah, that's right. Because one of the prison guys like tries to come up. No, no, to him, no, right? not one, two. Yeah. Before this, the arc main character was so weak that he couldn't face one of these dudes one on one. Yeah. After sex, two of them come in and they cannot face him. <laughs> like th- this man's aura, this man's nan has increased so much from busting a nut that, that like they can't even think of. Facing he somehow developed like hockey power. This, this, like, it's, 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 it's like gone pre nan versus yeah, it's, post nan. It's, like it's like if gone turned into his dad after nutting. It's insane. Like it's it, this whole episode oh was God. like you had to pause it and just be like, what the fuck is going so on? So funny. It's, it's, please watch Wacky. It yeah. is insane. It's amazing. It, I, I cannot, and this new season was so goddamn fun. I was gonna only watch like two episodes, but I binged it all in one day. It was oh, yeah. so fun. It's it's insane. Like I, if, I you, have to watch it. Yeah. if you go into it with the mindset of this is gonna be a kind of stupid Jojo-esque show, I guarantee you will love it. Yeah. If you can watch it with the boys, this shit is fucking hilarious. Oh, we, we, we need a Bucky out of context kind of compilation. The, just yeah, like right? get this going. Just do, how the do we not? Zero memes of Bucky. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's like there are ridiculous. like so many out of context Jojo memes and yeah. compilations, but there's nothing for Bucky. No. Like how? I don't, I don't. It's, it, it deserves true crime. It true place. crime. Like it's, it's just, I can think of so many there's clips. So many scenes. So many clips of this goddamn show that could deserve to be memed. <laughs> oh my God. No, oh but, my lord! No, but like going back I'll to fight the, for my life for backing my god. Yeah. yeah, going back to the gym though, it's just like, how do you watch this shit when you're doing the gym? Because like the last thing I tried watching anime while going to the gym, because I'm just Dubbed. like, yeah, <laughs> dubbed. But like, do you not get too absorbed into whatever you're watching? Because I can't like, I can't concentrate um. on like 
working out so, if I'm like absorbed into the show. Mm. Right? Cardio, I want to get absorbed in anything but running. Yeah, right. I want to take my mind off because the moment I I I want to be staring at my screen and yeah. not at that calorie counter or yeah. the distance. Treadmill or bike is like perfect. I feel bike for, bike yeah. is amazing because yeah. you can just if you have something that's like an hour thirty, mm. just. Go and watch, like if you if you want to watch something, like I, I will do my best to just be like, I'm gonna watch this just on the bike. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know, I to me the viewing experience is near identical. Yeah, it's not as good, and you're not as comfortable. Mm. I'm not gonna sit and pretend yeah. it's the same thing. But yeah. you know, if if it's something that you don't care about too much, mm. you know, it's not that one film you've been waiting for. Yeah, just do on, do on the bike or the treadmill. Yeah, yeah. Mary. Because like every time I've watched something while trying to work out, because I remember I. I uh, when when I still went to the gym, well, you uh, always saw. I was always watching YouTube. Videos. Yeah, you're watching mm. YouTube videos and stuff. I think I feel like YouTube is fine, but like with anime, I tried watching like the new season of My Hero Academia. I used to watch that. Yeah, yeah. Gym. And I realized I would watch an episode and then I would not retain anything that happened within <laughs> okay. that episode. And then I would watch, watch the next episode and I would like, I'd, I'd be so confused as to what was Wait, going on. Dubbed or subbed? I, I watch it dubbed. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. See, I can normally follow along. And I mean, because I mean, you know, when you're doing your, you're working out, right? You, yeah. You, the, you're working out for, you're doing the, the sets for like what? A minute, minute and a half, two mm. minutes. Yeah. I'm sure someone's gonna come be like, you're doing it all wrong, what the fuck kind of. <laughs> but like, you know, you get, you get on and off time. So mm. I normally just, I have it down below, mm. like on the floor. Mm -hmm. So I do my, do my reps and then I just kind of watch like one minute and I'm like, okay, next rep. And then so that kind of get a balance. Oh, I, I can't do that. Like yeah. if, if I'm doing reps, like I need to be like fully concentrated. Yeah, on I, I need but like, I, like music, fair, it music. It is really hard to, to fucking focus when they're telling me about this GPS bullshit. And I'm just like <laughs> laughing too much to do this. <laughs> Baki would be fucking impossible to watch at the gym. But it's man. also you hype think? as fuck. It's like they're all they're the most <laughs> muscular men on earth yeah. talking about like the insane amount of strength and muscles they have. It's like that's my goal right so, there. Yeah, yeah. So you're kind of like <laughs> doing a squat while someone is talking about how they gain their muscles in Baki is like the most like pump thing on earth. <laughs> Like you can't not go for the extra rep, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, it's that's insane. Mm, mm. I don't know, but <laughs> I, I, it is it is kind of difficult. I you kind of have to pick and choose. Mm. Now, now in my head, I have like media for the gym. I'm like, right. this is gym, gym media. Your, this is stuff that I can watch in the gym because I don't care too much about it, but I yeah. want to watch it. Right, right. And right. if I if I care a lot, I'll stop watching it after one episode and mm. save it. Yeah, I yeah. know I like it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I'll save it for when I want to watch it. Mm. If not, the secret to getting Connor to watch anime: <laughs> going yeah. to the gym. Basically, basically, get me to do something where I don't make need him to focus. lift heavy things. <laughs> <laughs> make me not watch. It. <laughs> but obviously, right now I've I've not been watching anything at all because I've been just watching League of Legends. But yeah, that's, same. But, yeah. but it's that, kind of that's hard. why I'm very tired today. Yeah, I had four hours of sleep because I've been watching League of Legends. Yeah. Been really good this year. Sounds like your yeah. guys' problem. Yeah, I would talk about it, but I, gotta, I, gotta uh, I, 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 I know Joey's not interested. Yeah. Uh, basically, I, 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 it's. Go to the toilet Bas quickly while you no, guys talk. No, no, no. Basically, it's been, it's been one of the most hypers years in group stages. I feel like I hear that every yeah, fucking it's, time. It's, <laughs> it's, it's every it's year. Amazing. It's like this it's one well, of the hypers. Well, so How can they top you know, this? League yeah. of Legends is probably the only esport I try to keep up with, right. at least for the worlds. Um, it is really entertaining, and uh, I'm yeah. sure it is. If I, uh, I'm sure if I like understood the rules, I, I think I'd really get into it as well. Because like, yeah. I like watching esports stuff. But well, what, what I actually enjoy about worlds specifically worlds is that you get I get the same feeling from worlds as I get watching like say the world cup or something mm. right where like even even in the smaller stages you have like really small regions and you have like regions that are like across the world and even though you have like certain countries and certain regions that are stronger than others yeah like it's it still feels like a global event where you see fans from all over the world especially mm. when we had a crowd you know right. just like mm. cheering for even like teams that are not so well known mm. that are like up and coming regions and I really like, I love that in sporting events when it's when it's not just like one kind of country, but it's like a global kind of event. Yeah. Well, but that's what I mean, right? It's like, I feel like league for me would be like any other sport that I just don't know the rules of. Like yeah. if I, I feel like once you teach me the rules of like what's going on, like how, yeah. how you know, what's a good play, what's Pro not. Problem is you need to learn how to play league. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Right, but I don't want to do that. No, yeah, 100%, yeah, yeah. 100% you don't want to know. Yeah. yeah, so it's like, you know, it's, it's like, again, like learning any sport, right? It's yeah. like, it, it, once you know the rules, I think it, you can have a really fun time of just mm. watching it. Because yeah. watching it and playing it is totally different. Yeah, because yeah. that, that's the reason I got into League as an eSport as opposed to like maybe like, I, I remember trying to get into the Overwatch eSports scene. Oh, fuck me. And oh my God, like, 
the game aside, which I don't think is as good of a spectator sport as say league or something. Yeah. Like I remember uh, I went to an event with our, uh, with our mates and I found out that, you know, they had teams from like different cities from across the world, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> this really upset yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, oh my God, they have a team from London. I can't remember what the exact name London was. London Spitfire. London Spitfire. They had right. a team from London Spitfire. I was like, great, we've got some representation for the UK and London. And I remember the team walks out and everyone is Korean. And I'm just like, <laughs> what a what? <laughs> Why would you lie to me I like was, this? I, I, Why would you lie I, I, I to me really like this? I was really confused. Yeah, I didn't yeah. understand it, but it's like a franchise model. Right. So it's kind of like, the, you know, like football teams where yeah, yeah. you sell the slot to whoever does it. But mm -hmm. I, they had- So I guess there was no Londoner who was good enough. <laughs> no, that was, so, but, but not a single Londoner. The, from, to my knowledge, <laughs> the way that Overwatch had done it is that they had these team names decided yeah, and right. that you could buy in and you were given. Yeah. I don't know if you could choose them, but mm, yeah. it kind of ruined it because you know, as much as, you know, I'm, I, you know, League of Legends has so many, you're allowed to bring yeah. in foreign imports. Yeah. yeah. Um, to, but there's like a maximum cap to how many yeah. people you can import from other countries. Because you right, do, you right. know, if you're rooting for Europe, you yeah. would like to see European Europeans, people yeah. on the yeah, team. Yeah. Well, it's, so like, it's like, it's like, the, it's like yeah. the Japanese rugby team at one point where there were less Japanese players than there were actually yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. foreign imports. Exactly. Players. And uh, this year in league, like the ja there was a Japanese uh, team yeah. that qualified for the main event. And that's the that's first, first time, that, that first time it ever happened oh, in nice. history because no one in Japan gives a shit about League of Legends. So there's like really small fucking team mm. qualified for the main event. Yeah. And I'm just like, fuck it. This is the anime nice. plot line right here. What the <laughs> fuck? Why am I watching anime? I think it's got a strong niche here, but it just yeah. struggles because there's not a big PC culture here. Yeah. No, no, uh, unfortunately. And I, I don't really see a PC culture taking off anytime soon. It is no. growing, but it's I, I don't think it's like dedicated to games like Lee. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it's just mobile gaming is just too massive here. It is, yeah. Um, For like people, because as well, we people, said, people, people don't have that, time. But like stuff like Apex is blowing up. So I think yeah. that's been a real big push for PC. I shit. think but Apex that, is that's like, like VTubers. So well, yeah, that, that's like so, that VTubers as well. Like, like I think yeah. Apex is doing very well and VTubers only just, especially at least in Japan, very much pushed it. Yeah. yeah, I think cause I think before that, like the biggest PC game we had here was like PUBG. Oh, fuck oh yeah. Yeah, but, and like that was like the biggest- Put it in the dirt. And I think that was like the biggest it had ever gotten yeah. in Japan in terms of like a PC game. Yeah. Well, P PC like bangs are popping up a bit in Japan. They it's are. Uh, like, PC cafe, uh, gaming cafes. cafes. Oh, cafes. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. Right, right. chill. Cause we had them in London, but mm. there was one um, and it was so goddamn expensive. Do you remember? Yeah. It was like, yeah. it was like $15 an hour. What? Yeah. And it was, it's like, it's, it's, I understand that you, you know, you're a business, you got to make money, and, mm. and London real estate isn't cheap. Yeah. yeah. But also, you know, there ha it has to come on. It's going to be a reasonable amount. I've got a PC at home. I, yeah. You know, I mean, come on, like five bucks an hour. I'll buy food. I'll, I promise I'll buy food, you yeah. know? <laughs> you know, I, I, I don't, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 it seems like a bit of a rip. It's a bit too much. Because yeah. yeah. if I want to have a full gaming <laughs> session with the boys, in the cafe, yeah. I spent like a hundred bucks. Yeah, right. Yeah. And bro, I can buy what if like, I want to play buy, like what buy if I, the entire Steam library for that. Yeah, like, what if I, I want to play like a game of like Civ Two, which is like twelve hours <laughs> well, on average? Have rip then. Yeah, it's like three hundred dollars for a game yeah. of Civ. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I think in countries like Korea, it's a lot more affordable because they rely more on like you buying food and drinks yeah, yeah. and stuff, which I would prefer. I'll buy food and drink if, yeah, if yeah, uh, exactly. you know, can yeah. help you. Because I, I feel like in the UK, it's like it's it's a it's a strange concept, you know. It is, yeah. In Korea, it's just a normal way to socialize. Yeah. Well, yeah, I noticed that in Korea, it was uh, no. Korea in uh, the UK, uh, it was either uh, Chinese students who were mm -hmm. there all day, yeah. or it was kind of like pe uh, British people who would be like, oh, play PC for an hour. What's all this then? Ooh, get gaming <laughs> outside it, the house? Is it like what the, is all this the Switch? Is it like the Switch? <laughs> they got Mario Kart. So it's kind of, it wasn't meant to, unless you were a rich foreign student, I didn't think you were supposed to be there all day. Exactly. So. It's a shame, really, because I would I would love to game in a PC. Oh, that's, with my that's, boys. that's why that's why we want to go to Korea, yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, we uh, can't really want to go to yeah. Korea. We've been saying this before on yeah. Trash Taste, but we've always just wanted to spend like twelve hours a day gaming in a. That's my idea of vacation. That's, that, that sounds great. That's a, sounds like an amazing vacation yeah. to me. Turn off my phone, just game. Yeah, look at me. Just game. Just game. <laughs> just, game. <laughs> just get some toxic gaming in there. Yeah. Because no, I I realized how like small. Uh, like how unpopular PC gaming was in Japan when mm. I actually joined the Japanese League of Legends servers. Oh, and I was just, and I was just like, great, join the Japanese League of Legends servers, perfect way to practice my Japanese <laughs> and game at the same time. Yeah. A little did I realize until like about like 50 games in, no one on the Japanese League of Legends server speaks Japanese. No, it's all Chinese. Everyone speaks Chinese.
Chinese yeah. or English, right, right. right? Because no one Japanese is playing, playing on the Wii, Japanese yeah. servers. Every, it's just like Chinese Chinese people smurfing on the- yeah, on it's the Chinese people just go to like have fun. <laughs> yeah. Be on Japanese and people. what I realized is that it's the most toxic server in the world that I've been to. <laughs> it's pretty And that's bad. because no one Japanese is playing yeah. on there. It's all, it's all smurfs from other countries, just like just like being toxic on the server. Yikes. Um, so yeah, I can yeah. see why Japanese like, especially with League at least, why it wasn't so popular in Japan. Mm. Apex is a different deal, but uh, basically the secret to getting a game popular in Japan, I guess, is just to appeal to VTubers, right? <laughs> just put some gotcha in it, man. Just put it, some gotcha in put it. Some, put some gotcha in League and you're all good. You oh, got the Japanese yeah. market. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, yeah it's, a, it's a good social game as well. It's very easy to hop in and just play a few games. Mm -hmm. mm. If you ever guys want to. Yeah, one day, one, I saw you playing Minecraft yeah, the other day. Now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm so disappointed you started without me. What do you mean? <laughs> I was invited. You guys didn't ask me, you know, come on. <laughs> Set up the server, boys. I saw you dying in the lava like oh, five yeah. times. Listen, we don't talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I mean, we'll, we'll play Minecraft. Yeah, I got to get myself situated first because I've recently just moved oh, yeah, as well. A it was a uh, new place is good. It was an interesting uh, moving experience, mm. mostly because of all the shit that uh, Sydney has uh, built up over the years. Oh, and, oh God. And I remember, I remember. Okay, so we, we hired the same moving company, right? Mm. So the, uh, so there's this main guy and he knows that we're YouTubers because he moved- uh, he moved All the trash taste All the stuff. trash taste yeah. stuff, right? Um, I don't think he was prepared. Like he knew that we were <laughs> anime fans, right? But I don't think he was prepared for some of the stuff that Sydney had uh, like just within her closet, yeah. right? And so oh, I remember so- Poor be man. Yeah, before, before <laughs> So before before they do the move, they yeah. also have to like scout the place just mm. to see what they have to move and how many trucks they have to rent out. And Sydney, Sydney was just like, you know what? I know the stuff. I, I know my room's a bit of a, a bit of a nuclear like wasteland right now. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna clean it up a bit, right? So okay. what she does is she uh, takes off all like the lewd posters off a wall, right? She's like, I'm gonna I'm cleaning up my room. You know, she's not gonna notice it. Cleaning up, Cle cleaning up my room. So she takes off all the lewd posters, thinking she's got a job done. I've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> What she forgets, right, yeah. is there's no posters on the wall, but there's just a massive pile of sex toys in the corner <laughs> that she just somehow forgot about. <laughs> you, you really know how numb she is to that kind of shit now, right? Where it's like, oh yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, right? It's, just, it's the pussy of the round table. It's, it's, the, round it's, table. it's the pussy of the round it's table. fine art right there. And it's the 10 kilogram boobs that are just uh, lying on the floor. Nothing so wrong with she it. forgets to hide that, but she takes off the slightly lewd posters off the wall. <laughs> and this so is this distasteful gun now. <laughs> so the guy opens the door and is greeted by just the 10 kilogram boobs that is just sitting on her desk. <laughs> that she somehow just forgot about. Absolutely. <laughs> he, he probably wanted to like get out of there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so after after we get everything packed up, obviously he like they they hired different people. Mm. Uh, so he he's seen all this before, but obviously his employees haven't seen this, right? <laughs> oh no. And uh, so they they have to they have to pack everything <laughs> up, right? And yeah. um, so. Uh, how it was, they packed everything up. There were about like four men just yeah. loading loading stuff into the two trucks that we had. Mm. Uh, Sydney stayed behind. Um, Sydney stayed behind to clean up the place after we had all we we were all driving to our new place to unpack everything. Mm. Um, and I sat with them in one of the vans, mm. and I sat with them with two of them, and two of them weren't the main guys. So it was just one of their employees, yeah, and yeah. it was just like it was like a good 15, 20 minutes of silence, <laughs> right? And uh, we were just driving oh, no. along yeah. and he, and the guy next to me just goes, so interesting stuff you got there. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm just like oh, oh, oh my God. And I, and I so it's like, I, I'm, I'm starting to fucking explain this shit, right? Yeah. So it's like, you know, this is just, you know, we're YouTubers and uh, the room, that that room, that room, you know that room. That's, that's you, not my room. How do you explain that shit though to someone? That's like trying to explain what B-board is on 4chan, right? It's like, uh, yeah, so there's a lot of fucked up shit here, but don't worry about it. It's completely fine. Like, yeah, yeah. You get used to it. I'm gonna show them all the fucking cosplays I had. They were like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why do you have so many costumes? Why is there so many dresses? And I was like, I don't know. It's, it's my job. Hobby. It's a hobby of mine. <laughs> what, can I say? what can I say? You know, I just like this Well, what's yeah. worse to say? If it's your job or if it's your hobby? <laughs> I don't, I don't what know. gets you, I, I, what I gets mean, you judged? The, the guy walked in my room and was like, yeah. so you're single, huh? 
Like, well, I, I, I'm glad Sydney was there because if if it was just me sorting this out, I I can't. How do I explain that? How the fuck do I explain that? So uh, I live uh, I live with a fiance and uh, she uh, collects uh, sex toys and reviews them on her YouTube channel, and they're just like, yeah, sure, reviews, sure, them. Like, yeah, sure, bet, sure, bet, sure, bet, bet. And then, <laughs> it's not even the worst part because after after I have this like uh, half an hour explanation, uh, explains to them what we did, and just you, you know just just explaining the situation so they understand. Mm. So we get to the house and uh, so. They start unloading stuff, you know, first goes the beds and then all like the other boxes the and stuff. then the big stuff. Yeah. And then I had scheduled the gas guy to come on the same day because, you know, we've get got a ton of the gas, yeah, maximize, you know, min maxing, min maxing moving. Yep. Um, so I get a phone call from the gas guy as every as everyone's coming in, um, packing, unloading all the stuff into the house. I'm like, oh, um, I'm about to come over. Is that cool? And I'm like, great, perfect. I'm here right now. Mm. Just come right in. Mm. Um, so he comes in, checks the gas thing, turns it on, does the check. Everything's perfect. Mm. And as he's as he's about to walk down the stairs, guess what pops up? It's the 10 kilogram boobs right in front of him. That the guy just like fucking presents to him on a silver platter. And the guy- Wait, wasn't it inside- Oh my God. Yeah, wasn't sorry. it inside of like a box or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, it was, it was inside a box, the box, the packaging, which is just oh. an anime oh. girl with her breasts out, right? <laughs> because this thing, the, this thing doesn't need to go in a box. It is its own box. It's no. it's just boobs. That is ten kilograms. The oh box is big enough by itself. So he just he stops. They both stop. The gas guy looks at him. Uh, looks at him. Looks down at the box. Looks at me, and he goes. <laughs> Oh, very important. I'm just like, oh, fuck. Did he really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> so he's like, yes, <laughs> yes it is, thank you. <laughs> it's got a sense of humor, <laughs> man. The guy said, what if the guy was like, oh, I got one of those. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, you got the new model. Oh shit, that's the new model right there, Pog. <laughs> So yeah, oh I'm I, yeah, I'm just I just phoned Sydney up uh, afterwards. And I'm just like, why did why did you give me this job? I should be the one that's cleaning up. You should be the one handling <laughs> this the, shit. Were the tits really necessary to to keep? Were they, were they, yeah, were they, were they, and like that saying that it needs. Also, to be did kept? it need to go in the box that had all the loot shit in front of it? Like you couldn't have just put it in like the moving box. Or? Uh, I, 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 well, I, we let the movers pack a lot. Because what it. I did with all my loot shit is yeah. that I packed it in a box separately before oh. the moving people came. So they had no idea of all the cursed shit I have in my house. Yeah. <laughs> I, I try to pack as much stuff as I could, but there's too much stuff. Yeah, so yeah. I just, cause when, when they pack stuff, I just lost track of everything. I was yeah. like, I don't know which box everything's in. Yeah, I, tr I tried to like, I tried to like help them and like try to keep track of everything. Mm. And then like about two hours in, you realize I don't know where anything is anymore. Yeah, yeah. And, and so like even like a month after I was like, which box is that one specific thing I need in? I tear open yeah. all the boxes, can't find it. And I'm like, yeah. well, I'm fucked. Yeah. yeah, like I still haven't found my wireless headphones, uh, which is somewhere <laughs> in one of the boxes. Um, I, I f like you forget about the little items that you kind of need in day to day life yeah. mm. um, until you're staring at about 20 boxes in front of you and you realize that, oh, this this one thing is in one of these boxes, I guess. We'll yeah, how does that happen? Every time I swear, like it, I, it doesn't matter who I ask, how far they're moving, how much stuff they have, every move, Items just, just like just go stuff. into like some Donnie Darko shit happens where it just like go, yeah. disappears into a void on the way. Yeah. It's like, cause like you, you you look at it. Cause I had that as well where I was like, okay, I'm missing like two or three items at least. Yeah. I went back to the old house, yeah. obviously not there. Ring up the moving company. They say they don't have it. I'm like, yeah. well then where the fuck did it go? You, you're not going to tell me it's in one of these boxes because you open it all up and still not yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, well, what? What did I do with it? Where did it go? Man, I, I miss moving as a student. You just had like two suitcases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, That's right? It. Like you just chuck everything away you don't need. Because right, the thing is, when you're moving, when you have like an apartment and stuff, you just forget how much shit just is hidden. Yeah. So, so you pack- Furniture is such a nightmare. Yeah, you pack the big shit and you're like, oh, I'm like 80% done. And then somehow <laughs> you add another three hours of packing on top of that yeah. because there's so just so much shit that's just accumulated Randomly, uh, I was surprised at how much shit was in my kitchen. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I thought my kitchen was like two, bo <coughs> two boxes, three boxes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It was like fifteen boxes, just kitchen shit. I'm like, yeah. how? How is this? What? How, why do I own so many spoons and yeah. plates? What is this? I, I didn't know I owned that much shit. Yeah. I'm like, why do I have like four different types of plates? I don't, I don't, I don't use one. It's because you like go deep into like cupboards that you open like yeah. once yeah, every like yeah. couple of months, and it's like, oh, okay, I didn't realize I had. 
17 bottles of fucking dishwashing liquid just like sitting back there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, man. Getting rid of all the cardboard after moving was such don't, a don't, don't talk to me about that. Bro, <laughs> don't like, talk to I me like about 19, that. 19,000. I, I probably had a Japanese forest worth of cardboard <laughs> in my apartment at one point. <laughs> Luckily, was... the service we ordered, they took all the cardboard with them because they un unpacked it all for Did us. They unpack like, it. Oh, but doesn't, that, doesn't that service cost like 10 grand? Yeah, but we got sponsored. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. yeah. Fucking well, YouTuber, nice, like. nice for some, nice for some. I just have I to. Just, I, just, I, just, I, just, I just can't, in good faith, pay ten grand for them to move my stuff. Oh no! Like, if I didn't get sponsored by it, I wouldn't have paid for it. I just, I, yeah, like the one that uh, they charged me like two, I think, two yeah. grand. Yeah. Which I was like, oh, oh, okay, yeah. okay, that makes sense. I guess it's a full day of work. It's a yeah. full tank. Of gas. It's, a, it's a truck. <laughs> You're I, like talking yeah, yeah. yourself like, out of it. It's two yeah. days of work. I, you're throwing away stuff too. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess yeah, that, yeah. Okay. It makes sense somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. You know, I. They, they gotta make a profit, man. It's got, you know. Yeah. Uh, but like, struggling out here. Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw your moving company. Someone was moving into my building, mm. and it was like the whole place had been like taken over by them. There was like fifteen of them. And yeah, I was yeah. Like, yeah, like like I the, like, no the elevator and like the outside is yeah, like, like all no, has their yeah. logo on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I was like, no wonder they, they cost like ten grand. They, they they've got the whole dark, goddamn Japanese workforce here doing this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> they really, they really are like I don't know why. They, I guess they're really prideful of their company or something. But like they love plastering their logo, logo all over the fucking place. I mean, it yeah. works. It, it seemed I like see a it fucking yeah. yeah. It seemed I like a military everywhere. operation. Yeah. Yeah. It's like it's like that scene from the anime where they call the SDF. Yeah. They're like, oh <laughs> shit, you know, get the SDF down here, man. This this shit. This is a real man job now. Rock up yeah, 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 like, exactly. oh shit, here they go. <laughs> to be fair, I understand, man. If you got a family, you got kids and shit and you're doing pretty well for yourself. I get it. Yeah. I fuck trying to move with my kids. <laughs> like, <laughs> I would like, I would not want to be in my situation that I was in, plus kids. Yeah, like, yeah, I, yeah. I understand that it's like, yeah, just bring in the fucking SAS, bring in yeah. the Marines. Yeah, yeah. Get, bring in John Cena to do it. Like I, I, I do not want <laughs> or, to do Or, or especially if you were, you know, like, you know, in your 60s, 70s, 80s. Oh God, right? yeah, it's like, yeah. You, it's like, yeah, just fucking do it. Because I guess as, as you get older, you know, you won't be moving nearly as often. Mm, you know, yeah. I still don't know if I'm going to move in two or years, four years, mm. you know, but once yeah. I'm like 40, I'm probably going to be staying there for a good amount of time. Yeah, exactly. 40, wow. <laughs> I don't know, 40, <laughs> that, 40, that is 40, a late time to settle down. Yeah. Brian sat down anytime soon. Are you kidding me? Uh, I, I, no, I, I get you. Unless I become a billionaire hedge fund man, then I'll just buy 15 properties and yeah, live in whichever wherever you want. suite I want to. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Fly off into a private jet. <laughs> once my, once my, one day these stocks are gonna turn green and I tell you, man, I tell <laughs> you. <laughs> You can't settle down if you're settled in five different countries <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> big brain, big brain. <laughs> no, because like, I'm still going through that phase where I'm like, I'm in my 30s now. I should probably think about where I want to settle down. But, but and so, that, that but just like that just like terrifies I, me. I feel like settling down is when you're you you know when you're stop when you're working in a place that you feel like is going to be your end home. I don't think I'm mm. going to live in Japan forever. No. Mm. Um, I can't speak the goddamn language. <laughs> and, and even if I well, did, I'm like, would I want to raise a kid here? Probably not. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, there's like a lot of, there's a lot of different factors that go into like my long-term settlement, like where I would want to settle down. Like I, I do like Asian culture and you know, I, I do like live in Japan, mm. but a, a big thing about Asia is that I don't want my kids to go to school here because my God, they put so much pressure on exams and schooling here yeah. that I'm just like, this is, this is too I, much. I, this is yeah, too much. I remember I saw a post that was on Facebook like, you know, Japan per capita has like the least exams of any country. And it was like before high school. Yeah. <laughs> and I was, like, I was like, oh, that's great. Yeah, just, so just let them yeah, be happy yeah. until age 12 and yeah. then just fuck them they're, to they're death. They're, they're, like, like, they're really happy. And it's like, give them heaven for about 12 years yeah. and then give them hell for the next three. Yeah. That, that, yeah. Make, that makes so much sense because Japanese kids are like so fucking cute. You're like yeah. you, whenever you see school kids, they're so nice, say hello. You know, they, they're, just, they're just so inquisitive and everything. And then like, you, they, suddenly it's, it's, it's before like one- they, It's before they learn racism. And then it's just like a flip. <laughs> and I swear like every Japanese teenager goes to the same moody teenager phase. Oh yeah. Like it's it's like there, there is no exception. Uh, I'm telling yeah, you, kids right. get cocky when they learn racism. <laughs> I'm just saying it as it is, right? It's like, it's cause like, cause I can tell like, cause you know, sometimes with Japanese kids, right? Mm -hmm. Just from looking at them, yeah. you don't know how old these, some of these kids are. Yeah. Like there are some like 10 year olds that look 30 and there are some 30 year olds that look 10, Yeah, you know? So, and, but like, you can always tell though, when it's like a middle school Japanese kid and a high school Japanese kid, not from their looks, but from their attitude. How happy they are. Yeah, how happy they <laughs> yeah, are. Yeah. And just from their attitude. Yeah, like yeah and just from their attitude towards how, I guess they like, 
talk to foreigners, I yeah. guess, in a sense. Like, I don't, yeah, high school yeah. students are very scared of talking. They yeah, are. they are. So. But middle school and like elementary school I Japanese kids love talking to foreigners. They do. No, they not love that I approach everyone. children yeah. in the street. Don't no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going around going like hello to every no. child. But you like, know. in my old apartment, yeah. in my old apartment <laughs> blog, the only people who would ever like converse with me are like the little kids. Yeah. Whenever I get stuck in a yeah. lift, and I'm like, oh, what floor do you want to go to? Where yeah. do you come from? What are you doing? I'm just like. Oh, what is going on? They here? love talking to, and then it's some. I don't know what happens. Something in high school happens where they just suddenly become paranoid of foreigners. I think life, like they just they they ruin their life. Yeah, with exams. I guess. Yeah, and then with the the expectations. But you also yeah. know. Kids. But you also know which high school student dropped out because yeah. they're very happy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, hello, how are you? Yes, I'm not in school anymore. Doing really good for myself, thank you very much. It Don't have to go through sad, seventeen yeah. exams a year. I just, I just wouldn't want my kid going through the system. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Same here. Also, if yeah. Japanese banks are like this, God knows, what the rules, <laughs> God knows what the rules are like with Japanese schools. Oh my lord! I think it depends. Like on being the a parent, having to deal with it, it's like. Oh. I think I think though it depends heavily on the school that you go to. Like mm -hmm. obviously, like I think public schools definitely have it the worst. I, I think yeah. that's the same with any mm -hmm. country out there. Uh, but you know, if you go to like, if you take your kid to like a private school or even an international school, <laughs> like I think yeah. it gets a little bit better. Yeah, probably. Oh, I don't plan on having kids anytime soon. No, yeah. me neither. That's 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 a problem for like future me to figure out. Yeah, yeah. That's a, yeah. That's a trash taste episode five thousand. I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely, mm. definitely. <laughs> episode five thousand. <laughs> Joey's kid shit himself yeah. in school. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Can you relate? Uh, so I went fishing this weekend. I know. I, I know. We were talking about a. Trash taste fishing special. Sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm Can't sorry. Can't believe you do that too. Yeah, where, <laughs> where the fuck was my yeah, invite? Where the fuck was uh -huh. my invite? Ask Mei Lin. Mei Lin was the one who invited wow. me. Mei Lin, what yeah. the fuck? I, I, blame, I blame Mei Lin. I trusted wow. you, Mei Lin. <laughs> Yeah, Maylin just uh, invited us, uh, me and Sydney, if uh, we wanted to have like a kind of kind of like a double date where uh, wow. we, we go fishing together, mm. and uh, I really fucking enjoyed it. You like, looked like you were enjoying. You it. You look like you're about to shit yourself on the boat. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. So like, okay, so you this look, is you look, you're like. <laughs> so this is the first time where I went sea fishing. So it wasn't like it wasn't mm. uh, fishing in a river or a lake, which yeah, I've, I've done before. Done on a boat before. Uh, I've so, done so it is it is an entirely different experience, right? Mostly because. I've never been seasick in my life, right? And we were talking about this. So on, on the journey up there, everyone's like, oh, does anyone here get seasick? Which is <laughs> if you get seasick and you're about to go fishing on yeah. the sea, pro probably a bad idea. Bad time. Yeah, yeah. But none of us had ever been seasick before. So we're like, great, fishing on the sea, easy. Um, what we didn't realize is, what, what I didn't realize is that when you're actively doing things, doing things and having to concentrate things on top of being on the sea and being on the edge of a boat, it like amps up your seasickness to 10. So this oh, is yeah. the first time I'd ever felt queasy on a boat, right? Mm. Um, but I mean, the uh, the entire thing was like, aside from having to deal with the seasickness, it was it was pretty damn fun. So mm. what happened is we, uh, we went down to Yokohama and we went to the port there. Mm. And so we have, they, we have, they have this package where you basically go out to sea for about four hours. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was like, yeah, about, about four decent hours. Decent amount of time. Yeah, decent amount of time. Mm -hmm. And basically whatever you catch, you can keep and you can do whatever you want with the fish. So nice. back when I went fishing uh, in Wisconsin, we had uh, whatever we caught, we could only keep a certain amount, mm. but here you can like keep whatever you want and you can cook them afterwards as well. Um, and so, yeah, so we went out to sea um, and I remember at the, at the beginning, so it was me, Sydney, Malin and Maki, right? Mm -hmm. And so obviously it was our first time. So the fisherman was trying to teach us how it was done, yeah, right? Yeah. And within the first hour, Malin catches two immediately, right? And, and, and she's, just, she, she's, just, she's just on fire right now. Yeah. She's like, I'm, I'm a fucking natural. I'm a fucking natural. I can imagine how smug. <laughs> yeah, she yeah. was so fucking smug. Uh, didn't catch anything for the rest of the trip. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, some karma compilation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd love to see it. You'd yeah, love to yeah. see it. And, 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 like, and like on the opposite side of things, which was Sydney. And mm. while Mei Lin was like catching her first two within an hour, Sydney was like struggling to get like the real down, right? right, she, right. Like, like uh, the, the fisherman was like next to her for like a full on hour, like <laughs> explaining to her, then explaining her to her again. Yeah. And like, like he, he was like eagle-eyed on her, just trying, trying to make sure that she was doing everything correctly because right. she was not getting any catches. Um, and then somehow, like after an hour in, she just starts fucking reeling and fish like it's no business. She starts catching like four or five fish at the end of it. Learns the control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can finally play the game. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then there's Maki, uh, which uh, poor guy 
who's Malin's husband, Maki, a uh, poor guy caught, uh, uh, I think I think he caught like one fish at the end. Yeah. And so did I. I actually, no, actually I caught like three or four, but most of them were that's two. Big, well, that's, that's very different. different to one. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, caught, I caught one fish that I could keep and yeah. the rest were just like too, too small, small yeah, to yeah. even like, to, to even be worth right. my time, Gun right? Kills right. babies. Yeah. Because- <laughs> Stabs and throws back because, the because Maki, Unfortunately, was like way too seasick to be able to function for most oh, of the no. trip. Oh, yeah, which is sucks. which, which is which is the th which is the thing where Malin, uh, Malin also was seasick, and so was I, to be mm. fair. Uh, but Malin, being Malin, was didn't want to admit it because uh, she she uh, she was she was like really silent after about an hour, and yeah. she was just sitting down. <laughs> and I was like, Malin, you're right. And she was like, Yep, yep, I'm cool. I'm just I'm just uh, just a little bit tired, a little bit tired. Uh, she told me afterwards that she just didn't want to admit she was seasick in case like me or Cindy would be like, Oh, no, little baby, oh, no, oh, you little, can get little medicine for seasickness. Yeah, right? you can, yeah. you can, well, you can. Well, which we totally it's would have done pride, anyway. But, it's the pride. But as soon as soon as Maki mentioned that he was feeling seasick, she turns to me and he was like, Maki seasick, she's seasick. I'm taking care of Maki, he's seasick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm like, wow, Malin. What an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> bro, bro. That's a bro. Yeah. And I was just like, I'm seasick as well. You know, obviously I'm I'm not, you know, it's it's normal to get seasick. Maki's just is. doing like the blinking, like. <laughs> <laughs> yo, what? Hey, yo, what? <laughs> but it was so funny. Cause uh, Maki did, uh, the, Maki's first catch, right? Mm. Uh, he, he, um, he reeled in two little like super small fish. Mm. They were like baby fish, right? right. They, were, they were like this big, you know, you can't, mm. you can't really do anything with them. So it's like, at this point you just catch and release it. Right? Yeah, yeah. And it was the first like baby fish we caught on the day. Mm. And this was about two hours in. And so he caught them and I was like, oh, look at the little baby fish. Mm. So, you know, we should probably, probably release them. So we, mm. uh, he takes the hook out and uh, he starts like he, puts them back in the ocean and they start swimming off. And I swear to God, this, this thing is like, this is like a scene from the Simpsons, right? <laughs> and you can see them swimming off and Sydney in her little, in her little, you know, you know, you know when Sydney is just like, talks about a dog or talks about any animal. She's like, go swim little baby, swim, yeah. swim. And then as soon as she finishes saying that, out of nowhere, a seagull appears and just dive bombs <laughs> the fish out of the water. And eats it, and and the four of us are just we're just standing there looking at this fucking atrocity in silence, and we're just like, well, fuck. Well, you help the circle of life. Yeah, it's it's, it's the circle nature, of life. Nature. Seagull annihilates tiny fish. Nature has been restored here today. <laughs> Oh my god! No, but it was actually like it was actually like a really fun experience. How, how much was it to go out on the boat? It was like about a uh, hundred dollars. So per person, per person, oh, per oh, person, wow. and you can catch as much fish as you want. And oh and afterwards, so you you go catch the fish, hmm. and um, afterwards you uh, they have different services. So off, so you can go to an uh, izakaya where they can cook the fish, oh. or you can go to an onsen. Mm. And uh, so there was this onsen that we went to, mm. which is perfect. For, like if you're fishing for four hours, it's yeah, surprisingly right, right. tired. Oh, like, yeah, it's yeah. like way more fishing on the sea is way more active than doing lake fishing mm. or uh, river fishing, mm -hmm. right? Because you're 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 batting against the current mm. and you're constantly like it's way more it's way more active because uh, I, I don't know what they call it, but uh, they they give you the, the like this little cage, right? So you got the bait, which is on the hook. Mm. And the next to the bait is this little cage where you basically stuff in, um, stuff in like fish, like dead fishes or- Chum. Chum. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay, okay. So, so, so oh, that, oh, that's why it's called a chum bucket. Yeah. Oh my God. It yeah. makes so much yeah, sense chum, now. Chum is like just- M mashed up fish. Yeah. yeah, so they gave us a chum bucket, I guess. I, I, I was I was struggling to find the words to describe this fucking thing. It's a chum bucket. Man discovers SpongeBob <laughs> for the first time. <laughs> so we, we, we had a chum bucket yeah. and so we had to fill up this cage mm. full of chum and the, the cage itself mm. would uh, attract the fish school yeah, with the smell yeah, right. and the bait yeah. itself would like attract the fish. Uh, to bite on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, like the chum would like disintegrate within like you know within like a good five five minutes. So mm. like every 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 five minutes you'd have to like put it down, pick see it if there's pick it back up, put yeah. it down, pick it back up, uh, 
fill it up. Fill it up again. Mm. Fill up the uh, chum. Bu- uh, fill up the chum cage with more chum from your chum buckets. <laughs> and so it was actually like way more of an act. Can you guess what Gant's new favorite word no, is now? No. We're gonna be feeling. Like we're gonna be hearing this a lot. Chum, 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 chum. <laughs> and so it was a way more active. Uh, it was way way more active than the other kind of fishing I experienced. So I was actually pretty tired. Um, I was, it was, I worked up a good sweat and my God, the onsen afterwards, mm. y- you know, you know how, you know how after a hard day's work or how you've done like, you know, after a hard day's work. God catches one baby fish. <laughs> Damn, that was a hard day. Damn, that was a hard day's work. I was sweating up a storm there. I gotta go and hit the okay, real camera. Okay. I was sweating up a storm getting okay. that one I, fish. I, I, I did <gasps> catch one fish. I caught the biggest fish of the day. Oh. Sid- Sydney caught the most fish, but I caught yeah. the biggest fish of the day. <laughs> Which, who's right. the tastiest though? Huh? Was yours the tasty? Mine was, of course it was mine. Of oh, course. Wait, what fish did you catch? Um, the I tasty one. <laughs> <laughs> what, type, what type of fish do you have? Uh, I can't remember the type of fish I had. I believe it was a sea fish. Like Maylin, do you remember the type like of a, fish that we were catching? Like a boot? Yeah. <laughs> a tire? Sorry? Horse mackerel. Horse mackerel. Horse mackerel. Oh, horse oh, mackerel. Okay, horse okay. Like the, oh, that's like the shitty cheap fish, right? That's like the, <laughs> that is though, right? Yeah, that's the shit you put in a can. That, that's like the cheap, like when you go to sushi places, that's like the cheapest one. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, it is. No. Yeah, yeah, it, it is. is. <laughs> it is. Yeah, yeah. It, it literally is. It's the white one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's the when cheapest you, one. When you cut it open, it's like really, really white with the uh, silver outline, right? It's like the it's like the blue with like a little bit of yellow in the fish. Okay. Yeah. No, maybe I'm totally wrong. Maybe I'm just fucking Well, they, like they do have like different services where you can catch different types of fish, yeah. but like the good fish- That sounds cool though. Yeah. I'd like to do that. Yeah. The, good, the good fish come out- would have been great on invite. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> would have been good for <laughs> a, a special, <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. okay, next, okay, time, okay. Because, because, <laughs> next time, because next time, because you go, you go to this onsen and while you're in the onsen, just chilling out with the boys or whatever, they're preparing your fish, mm. right? So they take your fish and, uh, and so they take, Take your catch and they feed it to you uh, afterwards, that which is like when you, the way, you, the way you, you said it. That just made me. I, I had the immediate image of somebody coming out. Here's your mouth. horse, my cool open, sir. Open, <laughs> open your mouth. Open, <laughs> here comes the airplane. <laughs> which is which is great. I mean, what 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 better what better spice why, can you? Why didn't you catch monkfish in RuneScape? That is a high level of fish. <laughs> Or shark. You can not catch I think it was different only like level 15 fish. fishing or something. Yeah, you know, it wasn't high enough level. Serious. You can't catch you different- Leveled up that fishing. Yeah. yeah, you can't catch different types of fish, really? but the best fish come out at like 7 a.m. So oh, it's like fuck. a 7 a.m. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm just like, you case. know what? I'd like to try fishing. Like, I'm two, not two that fishing good too. Two that's, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's like after, you know, five tries or something. That's yeah. that's when you're like dedicated. That's when you have like your own fishing rod and all that shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, fuck <laughs> that. You know, you're, you know you're legit when you got your own equipment. Yeah, yeah, for sure. exactly. Fishing rod is just one of those devices that I feel like is such a big investment just because of how annoying it is to maintain. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And like that, that shit breaks so easily. Also, like when you get like super serious, there's like different rods for different fish. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right? And it's right. like, oh my god, it's like I, l- I learned that from I, Tales I'm, of Rise. I'm sure, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm sure when I'm if I'm if I'm 50 and I haven't yeah. decided the hobby yet, I think as a white person, that is the default hobby I have. Fishing. Yeah, yeah I think. Oh yeah. When I get to 50, we'll see. That if I have and a golf. Oh, like the two yeah, things yeah, I'm we'll, gonna we'll, be like, yeah. We'll, we'll see if I have, have a hobby by then. I don't know. Maybe I will. Maybe well, I'll, you don't I'll have probably, a hobby now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be streaming when I'm 50. I'll be like, I'll be like in my dentures and shitting myself. I, I, I can't. Of course do that. you can. <laughs> isn't that that? Isn't that that old guy who's like used to stream RuneScape a lot? I, the, the, guy, you mean the one that Keemstar. Yeah, the one that Keemstar oh, tried to oh, fucking God. cancel. Yeah, he he still streams, right? I'm pretty really? sure. I think so. Oh shit, good for him. Yeah. So you but know, I, there's there's a future, man. I, I mean, maybe I'm, I, I'm already like low on energy now. There's lots of people. Yeah. I know what I'm going to be I'm like. Sure, man. You, you say that, but you stream more than me and Joey yeah. combined. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I feel like I'm really low on energy, but then you guys are always don't stream much. So I, I don't know. Maybe I, I think there's a difference I, I, though I, between low on energy and can't you know not being fucked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's like I'm not low on energy. I just can't be fucked. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I I can't tell if I'm low. No, I am low on energy a lot of the times. Because I have, I have to like- <laughs> Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? I have to conserve my energy for trash taste. People think I talk a lot. And then no, it's just like, I conserve all my all my like social energy for fucking trash taste every week. And then mm. I like, I reset every week. I can't and be fucking taste streaming takes a lot of energy, it's, it's hard work in this in this show business. No, honestly though, if I, if I stream, then that's my work done for the day. Because I- can do it in the night. How do I have energy after I've been working all day to also stream, which is to me work? Like so, sometimes you start streaming and then you just kind of get energy as you're streaming. It's kind of weird. I get that. Sometimes it happens. Like sometimes I'm really dreading it's it. It's called mm. being an extrovert. Like literally, it's like you're ga- you're gaining the energy. I'm siphoning the from, energy. Yeah, yeah, no, you're siphoning the energy from social interaction, right? <laughs> 
For me, it's the opposite. Like I have a certain amount of energy yeah. and I have to expel that during the day, basically. Expel, expel. that. <laughs> what are you shitting it out? What are you, what are you, don't bring shitting out. We had that last Shit out week. my yeah. energy. We had that last week. No more shitting. We promise no more shitting. Yo. It's just like, Gaunt goes to the toilet and Sydney's like, are you expelling your energy, honey? <laughs> Yes, dear. <laughs> oh my god! Don't, uh, don't interrupt me during my energy expellation <laughs> period. How, is the, how, how else is the moving stuff going? Are you kind of getting settled in? Is it are you dreading yeah, it? Yeah, it's uh, because this is it's a bit different now because I lived in an apartment and this one's a house. Ooh. And uh, bougie, Ooh. I know, bougie motherfucker. This. Well, guy I was actually well, I was actually really lucky to get this house because the previous owner mm. has gotten a job abroad. Mm -hmm. And so he was very desperate to find a tenant. So we got it at like a fucking amazing price. Cause we were mm -hmm. like, when we were looking for other places, we were, we, we, we didn't even know if we were gonna move. Cause yeah. I remember talking to you guys, cause you both were moving, you wanted bigger places. And I'm like, I'm actually really happy with my place. I, I'm, Your place I, was a good size though. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a good size. And I was just like, I'm only going to move if I can find like a decent enough upgrade. And mm. we saw other places which for the budget that yeah. we set and nothing was really like, nothing really standing out. Mm. I was just like, whatever, maybe we'll just stay for another year. And then this was like the last house that uh, we looked at mm. because the estate agent was like, "Yo, we, we have we have one more on offer mm. um, yeah. that uh, that you we might saved enjoy." The best for last. Yeah, yeah, we we saved the best for last, yeah. and uh, so we looked at this house, and it it was like twice the size of any other place they'd shown us for the same price. Yeah, point. and yeah. we're like, "What the fuck?" Um, there is there is a catch though, which is I don't know what the exact contract was called, but we only have it for a maximum of two years. So that no, was the catch. You, you have yeah. to get out. So it, after yeah. two years, we have to get That's out, which is if you're like get really settled in, you really like well, it. Well, remember when we were looking for places for the trash taste office, that we, the, one of the places we were considering, I don't know if we talked about this on camera, but one of the places we were considering was exactly the same. Like yeah. the first place we found, it was like this like three story house that was like, oh yeah, yeah. this is like, looks like a perfect space. But then we found out that- Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was like, it was owned by an expat who was overseas now, but he was like, I'm coming back in two years. So you you better get the fuck out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I do think this one's actually better in the end. I, I think the oh, studio yeah, yeah, is yeah, definitely, better. definitely better in the end. But like what, initially when we were looking at new studios, yeah. that was yeah. one that we were like really happy with. Cause yeah. it was like good we, price, we, good location. Well, yeah. what, 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 so in, in the end, what, what made you move there? Is it just cause the like location I mean, the house, the house, is, house? The location was amazing. The house is fucking amazing. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I was just like, I, I move on average every two years anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> so Fair like I, I'm, I'm, I'm you as, just as, used we, to it. as we just yeah, same, discussed, same. I'm not one to settle down. So mm. I, just, I like mixing it up, you know? Yeah, I, like, I, like, <laughs> I, like, I like getting Change a Change it up. Yeah. 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 And as annoying as it is, like yeah. I do like it. But all that, uh, like yeah. two years is a long time. If you think about it. It is very long. To, to me at least, two, mm. two years is like a fucking there's long some, time, especially for YouTube. Something exciting about upgrading a little bit as well. You know, I've been working hard. I deserve a little bit of an upgrade, you know? Yeah, and give myself a pat on the back. Well, I mean, my new place is like three times more expensive than my old one. But that's because I didn't know how I was gonna do financially when I moved here. So right, yeah, and yeah, I didn't right. wanna, I, yeah, I didn't I mean, know. yeah, when yeah. I first moved here, I had fucking the cheapest Oh yeah, you had the, you had I had like a one, one bedroom. Room. Yeah, I had a one, one bedroom, yeah. 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 So, same here, because when I moved here, Sydney just, didn't have a career yet. So mm. it was like, it was- I remember lot, that, yeah. yeah. Like you mm. paying everything. A, a lot of it was on, it. a lot of it was on me to like, well, she, she, she you know, she, she obviously paid for it as well, but uh, a lot of it, a lot of it was if it rested Sydney, on you. Yeah, right? if yeah. like if Sydney falls through and her YouTube career doesn't take off, then all all of this is going to fall on me. Yeah, and that's yeah, why no. I was like, that's what I was thinking about. But now it's a lot more comfortable. We can both share the cost, mm, yeah. so we were able to have like a bigger budget, but still not stupidly large. Mm. Um, and yeah, we just found a nice, really nice house. And then, and then Sydney's career took off, and we went stupidly large. <laughs> <laughs> In my, my mind, I was like, because we were living so far away. We have to say where we live now, kind of like. We allow to say so we mm. where we uh, live. I don't no. want to. <laughs> you don't want to? Right, no. Okay, okay. That's that's fine. Fine. Just wondering. That's fine. Just wondering. Um, it was. It was. Far we didn't away. live in the center. It was very far away. Well, not yeah. very far away. It kind of was. Kind of wasn't. Mm. I also lived really far away from the station, so it felt yeah. like double damage. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, for me, I lived <laughs> literally three minutes away from the you station. You were super close. So I, I, I was like five minutes. Joey away. had like. I had like the nice distance. I'd say, yeah, yeah. And then I lived like ridiculously far away. Yeah. <laughs> it, 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 like I didn't. You realize... were like halfway between two stations. I remember. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so I had the really annoying case of just like I'm fifty minute walk to one station, twenty minutes to the other. Yeah. Yeah. Which like doesn't seem like a big deal, but when you're some days when you have to go back and forth multiple times, mm -hmm. it really fucking felt dreadful. Yeah. And I just got to the point where I'm like, okay, I'm doing well for myself. I'm just gonna spend the extra money just to get somewhere that's super close and that I can focus more on work. Mm. Don't have to worry about traveling. Like uh, it, now I don't have to worry too much about 
and before I always had a plan, a precisely yeah. when I was leaving the house. Yeah, yeah. Because I had to, get, I had to look <laughs> what the train was. I had to make sure I was getting the express train because mm. where we were was so far away that you mm. could get a, yeah. an express train that saved you quite a, a significant amount of time. Mm. And so normally commutes are about an hour for me. Yeah, mm. which is quite a long time, and you do have to really like think. Okay, when am I leaving the house? But now, now I can just kind of be like, eh, I generally know what time I need to leave. Yeah, one- I, I kind of like the commute though, because like uh, uh, me currently, I'm also like. Uh, just like travel distance for me, like to the office, for example, is like pretty much the same as it was before. Right. Yeah, right, right. It's not right. that much different time wise. It's right. just in a different. But I, I, yeah. I always complained about it the most because for me, I definitely valued distance from like where I was going right. often a lot. Mm. Like I really like the commute though for some reason because yeah. it, it puts my mind off of work for even just I, a little I, bit. I I liked it until a certain point because yeah. commuting here was fine. Mm. Commuting back is a fucking nightmare. Because <laughs> like, true. that's I would always dread it, right? Yeah. Because commuting, commu- I, I don't mind staying on the train, but when it's like, when you're going back after we fi- finish filming Trash Taste, normally like in London, mm. it's like the rush hour yeah. is from let's say five o'clock till seven o'clock, mm. right? Where like the, the fucking tube is packed, you're not getting a seat and you're like a sardine. Mm. For some reason, the fucking rush hour in Tokyo starts from like, Four till like nine thirty at night, <laughs> right? Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't end. It, it just, it just yeah, it doesn't goes, end. It goes on till midnight. Yeah, right? yeah. So, like, so like, so it like the commute back was just like a nightmare. I would like mm. dread it. So I would dread the commute back every time. So it's it was just normally if I was in London, I would just wait out the rush hour. Mm. But in Japan, there is no waiting out the rush hour. No. You just you just got to deal with it. Yeah, and it depends, right? Because like. Some, like you said, you don't mind the commute. Mm. That's good. I mean, very OP for you. You can get a much bigger place. Uh, you, have, you have a much bigger place than me. Mm. Uh, it's, it's, so it's it's kind of like, mm, I don't know. I just, I hated commuting. Yeah. And yeah. to me, I felt like I could spend my time better. And I yeah. did want to spend my time differently. Like I've, like streaming, right? Like an extra hour of streaming is a big difference. Oh yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. So that would go like a long way. So yeah. I think for me why. as well, it's because like uh, an hour commute for me now is yeah. so much better than what I first had when I first moved here. Right, right. Yeah, Cause when yeah, I first yeah. moved here, I lived in a place that was a 25 minute walk to the closest station. Yeah, fuck that. No. You know, and it was like way out of Tokyo kind yeah. of thing. So like, you know, commuting into mm. Tokyo would be like an hour and a half, two like, hours for me. Which is the, the walk, don't get me wrong, is fine. Mm. Walking yeah. is not the problem. It's walking in the sun. Summer. Oh and like, yeah, yeah. Sometimes, you know, you, you can't always be what you'd like. You sometimes you have to carry a bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's where it really fucking sucks. Which is yeah. why I'm so glad that finally I'm able to fucking wear a sweater, right? right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, so man. nice now. It, like <laughs> speaking of weather though, like, where did autumn go? Yeah. It's just it just was like winter. here for two days and then it's like, all right, see ya. <laughs> it just yeah. turned into winter. It's it's always like that. I'm yeah. so glad though, because I can finally wear some drip. Right, know, exactly. Right? Without some dripping myself, now. you know? <laughs> it's fucking disgusting for like yeah, the so middle gross. of September. It was so gross. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I just like how Japan decided that it was going to be hot until it wasn't one day. <laughs> and then it just decided it wasn't it literally cold. Went, it, it, it went from 25 to so, 14 in one day. Yeah. And, and, and it doesn't look like it's going back. Yeah. But how, how does that happen? Weather. Japan weather. has four Tell seasons, me. everybody. <laughs> That's what they tell you. <laughs> no. They don't. It has yeah. pain for six months, then mild discomfort for two, and then the rest mm-hmm. are okay, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cold. The rest it's is fine, shitty. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of all right. <laughs> one biggest thing, going back to the house, one biggest thing that I've had to gotten, get used to uh, living in the house is uh, living on the ground floor now, right? Because oh yeah. I've, I've only lifestyle. lived I've only lived in Japan. Mm. Uh, I mean, it's like, I've only lived in apartments in Japan before. Mm. And I was like quite high up in my old apartment. Mm. So, you know what? You know, I could stand next to the window and uh, be pretty confident that no one was going to see <laughs> me, you know? You know, yeah. no, so it's, you know so especially, you know, when you sleep, you sometimes you just sleep in boxes as a as as, as, you, uh, do. as you do, and sometimes you do. sometimes you're just out of the shower mm-hmm. and you don't I love get dressed. Out of my yeah, yeah, naked. exactly. Yeah. You don't get dressed straight away. You put on your boxes or whatever, and you just walk around the apartment. Um, and uh, I I kind of realized that you can't do that in houses. <laughs> so our house has like pretty big fucking windows, right? Yeah. And so I have a shower, put on my boxes, and uh, so. The bathroom uh, or my shower room mm. and my wardrobe is on different floors, right? So, finish the shower, go up to the go up to my living room and just you know chilling, mm. you know, before I put on some clothes, <clears throat> go up to go up to my window to like admire the view, as <laughs> as, as, you, as you do sometimes, just admire the sunshine on the ground floor, <laughs> admire the pavement no, no, on, on, on on the first floor, okay. on the first floor, wow, okay, yeah, right, yeah. Right, on, sorry, on the sorry, first, sorry, floor. it's a little elevation, yeah. a little bit of elevation. one meter extra, yeah, yeah so, you changes know, everything, yeah, because you know so, sometimes when when I was on when I was on the 
when I was on like the eighth floor back in my old apartment, sometimes you just like to look down, breathe in the sunshine. And uh, I thought yeah. I'd do the same routine. Uh, so I was just standing in my window um, and then uh, someone opens their, uh, someone goes out to the balcony to put out some clothes <laughs> and uh, me and them meet eye contact. And um, I, I'm totally not used to this because back when you're in an apartment, I was used to just being by the window and nobody could see you because yeah. you're too high up to be seen. Yeah. Um, and then, so we make eye contact and then they immediately just close the, <laughs> close the sliding door again. And then I realize I'm just standing next to my window with my boxes out and people can very visibly see me. And I'm like- How many meters away was the, this person? They were like across the road. What, so, so like 10 meters away? Yeah, so like 10 oh meters away. So they had 4K definition. Yeah. 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 Literally, literally yeah. caught in 4K. My God, if it was Maylin, she would like be, <laughs> she would have seen my nipples and everything fucking yeah. scarred for life there. Oh, my fallen, God. Fallen right off the balcony. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> in shock. <laughs> Are you liking a new place though so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good, really good, liking good. it. Oh, um, nice. Also another thing, uh, I had to go back to my house by myself to pick up some stuff uh, pretty late at night. And mm. uh, it's uh, it's it's pretty scary yeah, to go back. It's it's creepy as fuck to go in a house. And I didn't I didn't realize that until I went in mm. uh, because when you're in an apartment, there are like lights like outside of your building, yeah, right? Yeah, there, yeah. Are, there are lights and there are people living next to you. Yeah. You go in this house um, and it's just pitch black and you're just by yourself and you're like, you know what? I wasn't afraid of the dark until I experienced this. And I'm- There's something creepy about an empty apartment pitch black. There is something really weird about it. Yeah. An apartment's like, I, I can handle an apartment because the worst thing, if you if something happens, if like a fucking murderer is there or a fucking burglar is there, you can scream and people are people uh, around you. I don't know. Yeah, I think you that. have too much confidence in people. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I think you like your neighbors a little too much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's probably just like a placebo, but if it, 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 tons it feels, of people, murderers in Japan who I'm kill sure people I, in their apartment. Yeah, yeah I know. But it, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's a placebo, but it 100%. feels safer. It just feels yeah. It, I don't know. It's, it's like having a night light. You know, it feels like it feels like it's not too far away from your front door. Okay, okay. Whereas in a house, you're kind of just there by yourself. Mm. And uh, it, we we have a detached house as well. So, um, so it feels like you're just completely there, isolated. Whereas right. in an apartment, you know, there there's the apartment block where there's people outside sometimes going in and out. There's yeah. lights even at nighttime. Um, so it just, I don't know why, right? it just it just feels like you're a bit more isolated. It feels scarier. Mm. Uh, I could see why people get, get scared of ghosts now in Japan. Cause, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's fucking creepy as fuck. Man. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. But I don't want to talk about ghosts. Yeah. I got rinsed from the comments last time. They were did like, you actually? Wait, yeah. what did you say? Oh, when I talked about ghosts, people were very angry that I spoke about. I was like, what? I don't exist. You don't believe them. Yeah. But then that, that it, was, it was one of those, that was another one of those times I was like, damn, I wish I could like go write a fucking script on why I don't believe in ghosts and why they're stupid. <laughs> New video come from Sea Dog VA. <laughs> but then there's a, there's, why I don't believe in ghosts. 50 yeah, there was, a, there was a guy who made like, a, he made a follow up video mm -hmm. about us talking about ghosts. Basically. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, basically saying my point, but eloquent and, and actually and actually explaining <laughs> your what point I, of what, view. What, what, what is yeah. this video called? It's by, what's his name? Dark Viper AU. I think he watches Trash Taste a lot. He okay. was just, he's a speed runner. Right. And while he was speed running games, he was just giving this amazingly, <laughs> amazingly eloquent explanation as to why people believe in ghosts and why yeah. it's like a, generally like a coping thing and whatnot. And yeah. You, you know, it's stuff that I normally agree with, but it's one of those things that you can never change. If someone believes in ghosts, you're never gonna change their mind. Yeah. Yeah. But but it's like, but for me to be like, I don't believe in it. Sometimes people get offended by that. They're like, it's cause you never experienced it. It's like, even if I did, I wouldn't care. But the thing is I've never experienced it, but I still yeah, yeah. believe in it yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's, I don't know. It's, it's cool. <laughs> I understand that it's nice to believe in, yeah. but it's just one of those things that I'm just like, maybe I'm just too boring. I don't know. Like, to me, it just doesn't make sense. I mean, to me, I it's, believe it. Yeah. I mean, I'm, to, I'm, but that's, I didn't believe no. it until I experienced something and then I did believe it, so. Yeah. But again, I always think there's a logical explanation for everything that oh, you've Oh no, of course, of you know, course. Yeah. I think there's there is always a an explanation that <clears throat> might be boring, might not be immediately obvious, uh, that, that can explain it. Well, I mean, yeah, sure, like but, every, every mystery ever in history, you know, that's ever been solved has turned out to be not magic, right? It's like, yeah, there's, yeah, there's yeah, always, there's I, always there something was, behind it. Yeah, right? yeah, there's there's always, there's always something, like we just don't have the capability to understand certain things. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, I guess the people use that argument for, well, that's, that could mean that we don't 
ghosts can be real. We don't understand them. Yeah. Like, yeah, but everything else in our world thus far has yeah. is proven to be the case that stuff like that doesn't I, tend to be real. Yeah, I believe in like the, the supernatural mm, or like yeah. the paranormal, but I don't believe in 99% of the media that comes out that says like, here's I guess, real I guess, ghost I photo. I, I, I think that I really despise. And yeah. this is one thing that I absolutely hate mm. about, and, and which really leads me to feel strongly against it is, yeah. The whole industry that's propped up around yeah. no, no, exactly. ghosts, uh, you know. I don't agree with Fortune tellers, all spirit that mediums. Stuff, yeah. That stuff, stuff like that. is so predatory at times yeah. Yeah. that it makes me just want to like, just get rid of it all. Just, yeah. mm. no, no one, don't believe in ghosts. Cause if one person believes in ghosts, then there, there has to be someone who then gets into believing in, into ghosts and then falls down this whole rabbit hole. Uh, their husband dies. Some woman comes to them, tells me, I'll let you speak to your husband for $50 that, now. That yeah. shit is like, that, well, that, that, that is, that, that is, is that is predatory. Yeah, that is fucked. predatory. And that's like, that's kind of different. That's just people taking advantage yeah. of people who are like very vulnerable and very, just looking for yeah. answers. And mm. but, I, but I believe there are people out there who I wouldn't class as vulnerable but maybe gullible more so. Oh yeah. There's nothing bad's happened to them. They're maybe more likely to believe this kind of stuff. And I suppose you can't argue that they're not getting what they want. Mm -hmm. they're, they're paying for some bullshit. Yeah. But that's kind of what, in my eyes, it's bullshit. But well, I guess what, to them, what do you mean by valuable. paying? Well, maybe they'll ask for, oh, so I have friends, very mm -hmm. good friends who go to fortune tellers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just flat out just do not believe fortune tellers. Oh no, I don't yeah, believe in that I shit. I don't believe in that shit either. I just, you know, I think there is, um, there are a lot of questions that would be erased. Oh, so you know how to read fortunes? Then uh, why don't? Why are you not very fortunate? Why are you not using this to your ability? If you, yeah, why do you not own about is, ten portions? Are, are, are fortunes able to be changed? Is this some yeah. you know? And and if if not, why why has God bestowed uh, bestowed you with this knowledge yeah. of yeah. all people? And and why are you yeah. not using it to your own advantage? Yeah, yeah. I, just, right. I just find that there are so many questionable actions. And ultimately, it all comes down to the fact that you're charging money and yeah. you're getting paid. Well, um, I, 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 I say I, you're you're free to believe in whatever the fuck you want as long as you're not like extorting people. Yeah, I mean, it, right? yeah, when I when you when you add when you add money into the mix, of course, it's going to get fucking messy. Especially yeah. Yeah, yeah. especially if you try to like monetize this. And I think yeah, I think you, yeah, if you want to give away a fortune for free, go ahead. No, yeah, harm yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I, you know, to like claim that you have some kind of special power or something, but well, there's no way to prove that. And yeah. right now, whether you believe in ghosts or not, there is no tangible proof yeah. for or against. For me, like I believe, mm. I believe in the supernatural. I believe in supernatural things yeah. because to me, I believe that at the moment there is so much about the universe and the world that even science can't yeah, explain like, right I now. That, I believe I'm, I'm near certain an alien species out there exists that yeah. we have not been able to you know, yeah. come across because the universe is too big. But like the whole concept of modern ghosts and the way that we understand them, I think is completely incorrect. But well, what is the con what is the concept of modern ghosts? Like the idea that someone would die and that they're just going to hang around a place haunting it? Like what? The, like are you serious? No, no, that's not going to happen. I, I believe in it. No, no, God no. Well, like, <laughs> but it's also the, because the but it's also because like a lot of like Shintoist belief revolves right, around right, that. I understand so that, and I kind of grew up with it. That's yeah. why. I, you know, it's one of the, it's very tough for me to argue. Uh, again, like I'm not prepared. I didn't think we were gonna talk about it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, well. I'm not eloquent enough. Go and watch this video this guy made. It's <laughs> that's great, I don't know. Like I, I just generally am of yeah. a scientific mindset. Uh, that's yeah, just sure. something no, I absolutely. generally don't appreciate. No, yeah. I'm, I'm most of the time, I am generally favorable towards the science mm, stuff. Science yeah. Like I don't believe in like fucking, like people who can read like star signs and yeah. meridian lines. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I'm shit. sure like, if, you, if you presented some kind of paranormal activity that we had uh, and we really sat down and we really went through it, mm, and we yeah. really started poking holes in it. We could probably, you know, debunk most things. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sure. And any of the stuff that is generally, when you say it's unsolvable or yeah. nothing to explain, there's yeah. generally a massive lack of information or yeah. not enough stuff to but, even. But but that's what I mean, right? It's like it's it's a lot like like UFO footage where it's right. like yeah. I believe in UFOs, but I don't believe in 99 percent of the oh, photos yeah. or I mean, videos the, that the, come the, out. Yeah, exactly. Like a lot of the the scandalous stuff. Yeah, is, yeah, is yeah. Same bullshit. with ghosts. But yeah. UFOs for sure, we know that they exist. But yeah. There are tons of unidentified objects where they don't fucking know right. about. But, but there but, are also a lot of like, yeah. you know, haunted videos and like yeah. paranormal activity, like videos and photos yeah. that it's just like, uh, it's, no it's, matter it's how you become, look at it, it's inexplainable. It's become such a, and yeah, I, I think- well, I feel like you just hate the culture around it rather I than- I do, I really do. I yeah. don't rather, like the culture around it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, really, really I, hate, I culture. hate the culture Like I, I never talk about this because I'm just like, yeah, I believe in ghosts. And I hardly mention it because it's just like, I believe in it because I've seen it. I don't really like like to talk about it because it's just, it's my experience, right? It's, yeah. just, it's just You can't, you can't force someone to believe in it. Right? I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't want other people to believe or like experience what I experienced. I, yeah. That's just my experience. I right? think it's dumb personally. But I'll mm -hmm. never be like you're a stupid person for believing in it. Yeah, yeah and, like, I'm, and I'm not going to be I, like, yeah. how dare you because, don't believe? Yeah, in 
you guys, like, you, guys, you, guys, you guys have some form of uh, some belief in it. Yeah. And yeah. I would never be like, I, I think you guys are stupid because you believe in it. I personally, to me, it feels yeah. dumb. Yeah. The idea of it. Yeah. But I don't care if anyone else. No, and and yeah. I and I am completely fine with people yeah. who don't believe in yeah. it because you know it can't be helped, right? It's like you haven't experienced it. Of course, you're not going to believe in it. Yeah, because like to me, it's like the opposite sense where yes, I I completely agree. The culture is very messy. It's very very sensationalized, which I hate. Like yeah. Yeah. kicks are like yeah. nonsense. Uh, all, like, that, I all, 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 all that, all that nonsense, shit, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, There's I, been so many like people who have debunked people who have monetized this, yeah. that how yeah. can you not know that a lot of people are just predatory? But at the same time, I do believe there is a lot of things that have not been mm. able to explain yeah. with current science. And I think it's even, I think I think it's naive to not think that there is some, not something more out there that hasn't been explained yet. Because there's so many, there's so much about you know, there's so much we don't understand. We yeah. we take for granted because science has science has evolved and progressed so much that mm. we forget how much we still do not fucking understand. Yeah, no, about, definitely, about just the universe, about everything, about yeah. everything. Yeah, I, I guess, right? but like, generally, my my thought process along that is, if we don't understand the situation and we don't have the tools to be able to explain it, I I don't think that a paranormal explanation is the correct one because you know mm. we didn't know we didn't know what caused like cholera. For a long time, mm. yeah, you know, I'm sure at some point they thought it was it was the devil, sure. right? Was, yeah, <laughs> sure, you know what I mean. I'm it's one sure. of those things where it's like generally when we've come to at least my belief is that when we if we just don't have the tools or the knowledge of subsequent fields of physics mm. or maths to understand certain things. But also most of the time, it's so fucking minuscule what happened. It doesn't mm. fucking matter. Like if your door closed one night and it was real spooky, it's like, yeah. why would anyone delve deep into trying to disprove you? Your door uncomfortably closed. It's called a draft. It's probably, <laughs> it's probably, but although Watch it's probably, paranormal also, activity once. Yeah. I can have, see the have string you, right have there. Have you ever heard of pref, uh, pressure differential between yeah. rooms? It's a thing, <laughs> look it up, there. you know? Yeah. <laughs> but like, there are so many things that are so not worth explaining. Oh yeah. yeah. Generally, most of the th shit that is spooky is so not worth wasting time on trying to figure out because there's so little information that we have. Yeah. yeah. It's not worth explaining anyway. Well, so, and that's the problem. But, I but feel I also, like oh, sorry. One more. One more thing. Oh, I yeah, yeah, of course, you of I also do want to acknowledge that there is, you know, the whole psychic stuff and and all that. I do understand that there is a market that is pure entertainment. Yeah. Right. Mm. I could go to a fortune teller. They could tell me a bunch of nonsense. I don't believe a word they said, but it was fun to hear the funny words that they told yeah, me about yeah. my future. <laughs> I understand that's an angle and I, I'm fine with that. I like your funny words, Magic Man. <laughs> Magic Man, thank you for telling yeah. me that I'm going to be wealthy. I appreciate that. Yeah. But I'm, I'm also like going to hear when I've, I've, I've gone to a fortune teller before because I like, I, I like to experience what kind of generic way they're going to tell me about my future. Yeah. I love to s understand the way yeah. that they're trying to do it. Yeah. But that's not of a place of, uh, me genuinely believing it, but I do think that it is kind of yeah. a bit, there are a lot of people out there who really believe in this stuff. Yeah. Heavily. Yeah, I, I, I almost. I my my mom's one of those people, so and I'm that, like, yeah. I'm like, mom, some sometimes my mom like takes me to a fortune teller, and I'm like, mom, again, my mom, again, you get the same fucking spiel every it's time. Been proven that you know they say generic things that can yeah. apply to anyone. Well, it's, it's and, cold you know, reading. Cold, yeah, cold right, reading cold is a reading technique. Well. It's a psychological technique. Well, that but that's the thing. It's like I have, I almost yeah. have an appreciation for these psychics, not so much in the supernatural sense, but more on the psychological sense of being yeah. like, well, like Darren Brown is more along. I'm not. He always says he's not psychic, but like just using. The faults of the human yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. He, he, like, just uses psychology with yeah, yeah, yeah. psychological right? techniques, yeah, right? Yeah. And that's well, like anyone, more interesting. Anyone who's good at that would never claim to be psychic or yeah. anything no. like that. They understand no. that it's a lot more than that. Because yeah. claiming yeah. that psychic really undervalues what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. really. Well, well, I do well, magic brain thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, do, do I do I believe in like psychics and people who can mm. cold read and stuff like that? No. Do I believe there are people out there who can maybe sense some supernatural things? Yes, I do. I died. Really? Yeah, I do. Okay, that's fair enough. I mean, I mean, I think it's because again, like Gant and I have personal experience of either yeah, ourselves this, or someone we know. Th this comes yeah. from just my understanding the the brain but, is just so flawed in many ways. And, and that of we, course, we, yeah. You know, there's been like, uh, it, I, I know someone gave an argument with this. I saw a comment that was arguing about this and it was just like, if you can't prove it's, what's the, what's that really horrible argument method where it's like, if you can't prove it's not real, mm -hmm. then it, then it is real. Yeah, and it's like no, 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 no. You need to, you. It, the burden is proving that it's real, not that it isn't real. Well, that's 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 which the, is what I I find the most annoying about yeah. arguing the subject is that yeah. for some reason it's on the burden to me to prove that you don't have magical sixth sense. No, prove to me like, concretely that you do. Yeah. That's the same people who say like, oh yes, proof is a synonym for true. It's like, <laughs> no, 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 it's really not. Well, that's yeah. that's the thing. That's the, There's no way to prove it right now. And that's why it's we call 
believing it. But you know, but, that's yeah. like, but there's, there's so many things where Have you watched like, Naruto? <laughs> there's, there's, there's that, there's he doesn't that, just say that shit. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm about to fucking leave right now, Joey. Okay, so like- Believe there's that, it. There's so many like, you know- <laughs> I'm trying to argue a point here, Joey. I'm trying to argue a fucking point here. There's so many goddamn <laughs> clips of people, Good you know, where they, they go to people who are like, yeah, I, I can talk to the dead or I can feel the dead. And then they show them pictures of people who aren't dead. They're like, yeah, and yeah. they're like, hey, they're not dead. They're like, yeah. oh, well, well, you know, it's like, yeah. this happens so many many goddamn times so it's like at what point are we just going to be like come on this is just bullshit literally everyone who claims that they can do this somewhere or another when they put to the test mm. they fail like rarely but does like, no one ever passes these tests mm. why but like most of the time like most most of the people i've met who have stories around this it's, mm. it's got nothing to do with the the sensationalized shit you see on tv that's true that's you know, true it's, it's, but that's that's what also makes it very difficult to have this discussion isn't yeah it? People have their beliefs. They're so strong in their beliefs that they don't consider that they could have maybe experienced something that wasn't that. Yeah. More mm -hmm. often than not, they never. They never well, it's think like that. arguing about something with their religion, right? Which right, is like right, you, right. You, you, you never like it's it's just it's just a lose lose argument because yeah. either you believe in religion or you don't, and like, it's and it's, neither I, according we, to we, the other side, neither is right or wrong. Yeah, yeah, terrible yeah. at admitting our own faults as human being, right? Yeah. There's so many like you know you go to criminal cases. There's so many like. Uh, trials and stuff where mm -hmm. eyewitness testimony has been given and they swear 100% they have nothing to lose by lying about this, that they saw something happen that turned out it didn't happen. Yeah. And that their memory, because memory is so unreliable and mm. feelings are so unreliable and what you see is never exactly what you remember it to be. Mm. These things mm -hmm. are, we are so terribly inconsistent as humans that I find it hard to believe that one person who experienced something so, so wildly kind of outer worldly and that we don't is really it outer worldly have. though i mean th there, there are big there are there are bigger fucking mysteries would, out there I in the fucking world depends. right now it's case by case there are yeah. sometimes i've heard stuff where i'm like no and there's yeah. some things where i'm like you know that just sounds like you had an experience that i wouldn't describe as um like that's like a, a ghost thing it's like you just had an experience yeah that yeah. isn't like a ghost or haunted it's like you felt something and i felt that was a you thing I don't mm. think that was the world thing. You know what I mean? I feel like that's you. Ex <laughs> that's, like, that's a you thing. That's yeah. a you, that's not like a you <laughs> problem. As in like, if I was in the same room with you at the exact same time, I would not have experienced the same thing as you. All right. Because it is entirely a thing that, that is happening to you. It's it's mm -hmm. it's a mental thing that's going on. I don't think it's a thing that's in this like physical world or this material world mm. or whatever. I think it's something that, if you put two people in the same room and one of them's having that kind of experience and they're right. feeling things, yeah. like when you when you went on that tour or whatever, you know, there's mm -hmm. like if you go on a tour and you you know haunted house and why one person feel things and one mm -hmm. one might doesn't, I, I don't think it's a ghost choosing oh spooky on the guard, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it's you are setting your your mind is capable. You believe that that could happen. Mm -hmm. You are a person who is susceptible to feeling that you could be haunted. Mm -hmm. So you go into a place expecting maybe I could be haunted. I'm open to this idea. Mm -hmm. Something happens. You feel something, and then you your mind is like haunted. Or well, I, 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 I could argue right? the I could yeah. argue the complete opposite, right? Because Whereas you, I would never. Yeah, but yeah, I yeah, totally you, agree. No, no, because like you you are going the mentality that they're susceptible to believing in this thing but right. I, on the opposite side of the, on the opposite side of the fence you are someone who's so adverse to this idea yeah. that you would you're just shutting it out that you, that you would shut I out would whatever experience if there was yeah, an experience yeah, yeah, if yeah. there was right so like that's, you never like you I, never know you might have perhaps experienced a possibly, similar paranormal possibly. thing where in yeah. your head it's just like oh that just happened yeah, that was yeah. a bit weird yeah, all right yeah, anyway yeah. brush po it off possibly yeah, i you know. i think that it's it's really tough because like you said, if it did happen, I, I would probably just, I would probably think of a logical conclusion yeah, as to why yeah. that happened. Exactly. And more often than not, I feel like I can adequately explain what happened where, where the people around me, whether there was a noise or something that happened, I can normally be like- But that's what I yeah. find this whole like, I guess culture to be interesting about, right? Yeah. Is that like, we don't know, like both yeah. sides yeah. don't know. And yeah. it's the conversation of the believer versus yeah. the non-believer, who is right, I, who I, the I, fuck knows, I, but it's fun to talk about. I, yeah. I yeah. think unfortunately there's people who argue my side more often than not argue the point that people who believe this shit are dumb. Yeah. And so it kind of makes this really horrible, <laughs> But of course, uh, like thing, that, that yeah. like whole sensationalized like, side of things like, that's, is like putting that's, a bad that's, image that, on it. That's right? just that's just an image problem, right? Yeah, it, is, it, is, it, it, it is it is so much of an image problem because so much of the, the media around the supernatural is like sensationalized. Yeah, especially is, 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 especially like shit with like Halloween. You like yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like fucking TV is unfucking watchable no, I agree, in I agree. Halloween because everything is like ghost specials. Yeah. But that's <laughs> it's why all I like, bullshit. That's yeah, why I like even though I wasn't I wasn't saying like you're fucking stupid if you believe this shit. 
the last time we spoke about this, I got like the comments people like were saying to me, they were, some of them were like really fucking rude about it. Mm -hmm. They were like, Connor's just, he just thinks everyone's stupid if they don't believe it. I'm like, no, they didn't say that. It's like, I personally, I think that stuff to me yeah. is, is dumb. Yeah. Yeah. But I would never be like, you're a dumb person for believing. Well, it. I, I, th right? I think it's the important thing is that you like people recognize it is a belief and people have yeah. experienced it as something. And yeah, you're like, you, is, uh, people can believe different things, but you never want to make them feel like they've been discredited for right, feeling the way they do. I think that's why we have such a, a tough political climate right now. <laughs> <laughs> because, because, because for a long time, all these really uh, extreme beliefs were like, yeah. no, you're stupid, they're the I, I think yeah. that's the problem as well, is that there's really a difference between people who have a, a belief of like, this could be true. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then the people who swear that is true. Yeah. And like, mm -hmm. like I'm one they of those people- They kind of get mixed together. Yeah, yeah. and they I, get I, mixed uh, together. And it's like, and that's where like the bad image comes. Like I'm definitely one of those people who is the former where it's like, I believe this could be a possibility. Yeah, and yeah. I find it more fun personally to think of it in that sense. But I'm yeah. not gonna come out and say like, ghosts are real, 100%, no cap. No, no, I mean- Right, like, you, I'm, I mean, I'm not gonna say that. Like right? we just discussed, you can't prove ghosts are not real, but you can't prove ghosts are fucking real. Yeah, exactly. But like, like, I have more that's, enjoyment that's, yeah. personally. I, I hate the argument of you yeah. can't prove it's yeah. not real. I so personally yeah. have I the that. enjoyment of thinking, you know what, there is a possibility. We just don't know. And yeah. that's what yeah. I find exciting about believing in this thing. Yeah, well, I agree for, for me, sense. for me, it's like, it's it's less of just, it's it's less of just like, this is a fun thing for me to believe. And it's mm. more of just like, you know, everyone's had different experience. I've had like my own experience as yeah. well. And I couldn't, I, I guess like I couldn't logically explain it. Mm. And so what happened was, well, at, at this moment with my experiences and what I've seen, it's, more likely for me that it exists than it doesn't exist. And am I open to the fact that maybe what mm. I experienced wasn't real? You know, I'm open either way, but right now, based on my experience, I'm just like, yeah, I believe it. And that's Fair the enough. thing, I believe no, it, no you know? One. Yeah. No it's all about whether no you're, cap. <laughs> no, no, no cap, fax, no printer. Yeah. It's, it's all about, I guess, like whether you're just like naturally susceptible to, I guess, like believing in things like spirituality. I, I, and yeah, like I think all it, that I kind think of stuff. It, it definitely like, is. Uh, if you didn't grow up with I, that side, right? How I, I feel it's a little harder. Yeah, it definitely comes to, I mean, everyone around me was quite religious, mm -hmm. uh, Christian or mm -hmm. Catholic, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I just, I think my probably, probably uh, where I started to grow a disdain towards that stuff is I just didn't enjoy it when I was younger. Like yeah. I hated church, I hated yeah. all that stuff. Right. And then, you know, when you get older and you discover the internet, you're like, oh, well, I can do my own research. And then you start like <laughs> Googling stuff and yeah, and then, uh, I don't know. I, I think I was very- And then the 4chan scientists come oh out God, shadows. Oh God, <laughs> Red pilled. Um, yeah, I, I think it is entirely reflective of how I view the world. Like I, yeah. you know, I guess what, like what's the fucking meaning of life, bro? Boy, what? Bro, what you, is, bro you're gonna bring that out, man? Bro, the, bro is this is this fucking you, trash like, chase like, right okay, now? Okay, like why, why are, oh what are we, what is what is our purpose, man? What are we doing? Rick and Morty is too deep to understand, <laughs> Rick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. It's just like I, you know, the same reason why when I look at a, I look at a fish. What's the, what's the fish doing? What's the fish's purpose? <laughs> you know, what's to the, get in my stomach. That's right, the exactly. fish's purpose. You just be fucking eaten by yeah. someone else, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so what? You standing, so I, you're sitting around being like, so what is, what is no, the purpose no, no, of this no. ghost? So I, so I sit here and I look at like all these animals that are just there to be eaten or to just survive, and mm -hmm. I think that in some senses we're just the same. We're not, we're not, we don't have some grand purpose to to have some spiritual experience. It's just we're just here to shit, eat, and get on with our fucking life. Yeah, it ain't that and deep, if I, bro. If I want to play some goddamn League of Legends for twelve hours a day, that the, the universe has allowed me because I have done my duty, which is survive, and yeah. now I can mentally destroy my life be a League. But you know, I think once you've done, once you've survived, that's it. I believe. I believe they call that a nihil. The, the, yeah. the problem is, is that now we just have, now now survival is just, the rules have changed, man. Yeah. Used to being a Sigma male, man. <laughs> now it's hard. Now you gotta pay bills. Fuck, man. I can't be a Sigma male while I pay the bills. Fuck, Fuck that Sigma, shit. Sigma male, don't pay your bills. Number one. <laughs> Sigma but male grind set. Bills pay you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know, cause that's, you know, I, I don't really believe there's a lot of, uh, a lot of shit going on in life. I just kind of think that you just kind of, and that's fine, man. You're gonna get popped and you just, just what you're doing. That's fine. Like, I, I, that's fine. I, I, I wish that I could have some more enjoyment out of it. <laughs> I wish, but that's just not how I feel. I don't know why. That's I, fine, I, I, man. I wonder what made me feel that way. Well, how do you guys feel about it? Is this, you comfortable talking about it? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, Yeah, I guess like, I don't know. For me, it's like, at least with like the whole ghost thing for me is like, obviously I had that story I told yeah, yeah, you guys yeah. about my sister going through Do you feel shit. like it reflects your kind of spiritual? Uh, yeah, I mean- I, I, I believe more, I, mm. I have a lot more, um, 
respect for spirituality than I do religion. I think organi- I, organized religion, I, I I'm agree. not too fond of. I, I don't agree. know if this is yeah. a podcast like we're talking about this. Yeah. <laughs> we don't <laughs> like want to go too deep into that. Like, my, my God, we're, 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 like, take, we're taking on every topic that you shouldn't be talking yeah. about right now. Just like eggshells from right, here Let's talk out. about right, left, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, for, like, for me personally, it's like, again, because I did grow up in a- Japan, not, right? Let's yeah, I mean, like, yeah, with like the whole Shintoist belief and, you know, used to go to temples all the time and, you know, would hear stories about, you know, my grandparents, like being very, you know, Shintoist and just believing in again like that whole spirituality and like that like I, core, I like spirituality I, yeah, I, yeah. I, that I, core I like, buddhist belief is I, like yeah, yeah. You know. I like something you know I can get behind anything that the general belief is mm. be good and you will get good yeah, yeah you know yeah. like that my, is yeah. you know yeah. be nice to people like, what, like when I was a kid you know my grandma would tell me like uh, you know like don't throw the rubbish in the river not because yeah. it's bad for the pollution but because the river god is going to get angry at you and it'll yeah, come yeah. back to bite you in the ass and I'm like oh shit well I don't want to anger them yeah, so I, yeah, I'll yeah. do that right it might be a little bit of an ass backwards logic yeah, but no, you know no. as a kid like that is i think a, a healthy way to like look at that's, yeah, a yeah. logical I'll, explanation I'll, I'll, to I'll something get behind right? anything that yeah. is generally just be a nice person yeah like, that's exactly. like just give back you yeah know? that's like as i feel like i'm i want to do that just myself yeah. i don't need some um kind of uh, belief system for me to do that. Yeah. I just want to be a good person and do right. that because I, like, I want to give back. I'm not. To I'm not walking around as a 27 yeah. year old going, "Oh fuck, I better not anger this yeah, yeah, river yeah, god." Yeah, right, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. at the back of my mind, there is a part where it's, it's you know, it, in it you. builds like not only respect for surroundings around you, but also just becoming a better person. Yeah, right? yeah. And yeah. it's like you do what you have to believe in, as long as you're not hurting anyone else. Believe what you have right, to believe right, in right, to be right, a better person. No, because like my experience was, you know, obviously I was raised up to be a Buddhist and everything like that in my life. Yeah, I mean, okay. So I, I was, so here's, here's, here's a bit more behind that backstory, right? So I was a monk when I was a Trash kid. Ball. Yeah, write it down, yeah. write it down. <laughs> I was a, uh, so as I said before, you, I was a monk two times in my life. One mm-hmm. time as a kid, one time as an adult. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the kid thing was basically doing it so I could like, you know, give good karma to my family because that's just how the, that's just how I was God, raised. You know, right? I was too Gen Z. I thought you were on about Reddit then. For funnily enough, karma was the concept that existed before Reddit. You know, I know. I know. What? <laughs> um. So so then I you know so then after that I went to university, grew up and everything, and then I had this I I had this you know. Uh, spiritual experience mm. uh, with with uh, with with some people, and then after having that experience, I kind of just like I, I don't know what the right word or the right term to like coin this as, but I just kind of realized that I didn't know what the fuck I believed, right? Yeah, right. Because 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 I, I had this experience that I couldn't explain logically, and I was like an engineer before, so I'm like every, everything <laughs> scientific, can be, yeah, brain. scientific, everything can be explained logically. Yeah, had yeah, this yeah. experience, and then I kind of realized, fuck, what do I believe? Right? Yeah. And, and then then Same. and then at that point, I realized everything that I believed wasn't because I actually believed it, but it was just because that was what I was raised to believe. See, yeah, that's that's one thing that's really difficult. Cause I mean, you have to be raised. Like, you yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 we can't all be raised by wolves, yeah. right? So yeah. it's kind of hard to get an unbiased view of like yeah. a, a, a religion or a spirituality because you often have so much like baggage or kind of backstory yeah. with yeah. that kind of thing. So yeah. it's often hard to look at it critically. Yeah. yeah, so like that that was like a actually a huge turning point in my life that like basically put my clate clean, uh put me like put me on a clean slate mm. and I was like, okay, I'm going to become a monk now. That and that was like that was like mm. the actual point when I'm like Damn. I'm going to become a monk. Not because my parents told me to, but because I need to like figure this shit out yeah. myself and yeah. figure out, is this what I actually believe or is it, or was it something that huh. was instilled to me as a kid? Mm. And so that, that was like, that was like the big decision maker to be like, I'm gonna start something new in my life. I'm going to like try to experience this lifestyle, not because, not because anyone told me to, but because I chose this, mm. I chose to experience this and whatever comes out of this experience and what, whatever comes out of these beliefs are my own. And yeah. that's why right now I, you know, so I became a monk. When, when you're fucking alone by yourself with your thoughts for four uh, for four weeks or a yeah, month, two months, uh, you have a you, you have a lot of time to just think about shit, right? Yeah. And so in these in these like two months, you ba- I basically just like had time to rewind my entire life and basically break down why I believe the things I do and why I'm the person I am. Yeah. And like after becoming a monk and after having that time to myself and you know studying, you know I al- I already knew about you know Buddhist the Buddhist religion and the Buddhist beliefs. Mm. And the, and so I, after that, I knew 
what I believed out of, let's say, what the traditional religion teaches you. Yeah. But I also had my own beliefs and my own views on top of that. I think that's well. how it should be though. I think that's, you should take the cause of something you, like a, a structure that you, in, like a, mm. a, a, of a spirit or whatever that yeah. you like, and then just kind of add your own like yeah. things that you really want to I mean, Japan is pretty yeah. notorious for that, right? right. Like, they Japan just take like the mix. best bits yeah. of yeah, every yeah, yeah, religion yeah. and it's like, yep, this is what we believe. Yeah. I don't know, like the whole thing with like karma as well. Like I, I it almost in like a scientific way, I think that if, you know, mm. if, if generally if you're a, a good, uh, you know, you're a positive impact on, on people. It, I think just it just comes back. Like yeah, it's just yeah. a thing. every reaction has an evil. That's and man. That's reaction, what I'm saying, right? man. That's Newton's what always is. right. Newton right. was on I, some I, fucking I, you know, shit, I, dude. I, you know, do I believe there's this cosmic system? No, where, like, like, like God's keeping track. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where so, someone's keeping Ooh, track. Like, no. oh, you're the naughty one. Oh, you're the naughty one. I'd like to think so. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I could just go and do whatever the fuck I want. It'd be nice to everyone. See, this God, this is soup kitchen. Soup kitchen. But do I believe in like in general, if you're a good person, that it will come back yeah, to you? 100%. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I of believe course, that. Of course, of yeah. course. I truly believe that. And like the, the, that's that. That I guess is the biggest thing, mm. the biggest change before. Like before me just being told what to believe and actually like yeah. deciding what I believe. It's like once you decided it, or once I decided it, nothing can change yeah. my opinion because I, I was like I'm so like set in my beliefs because. This is basically everything that I've built from my entire mm. experience of life. And yeah. the only thing that can change this is new things I experience. Because yeah, like, because yeah. that, and to me, that's why I guess nothing really phases me when it comes to like arguing about my beliefs, like my core beliefs, yeah, because yeah, I'm, I'm, I, so, I'm very set in it. I don't, and, I, don't, um, I don't really feel like I have anything controversial either. I'm just kind of <laughs> like, yeah, man, just, just be good. I mean, like it's, it, you yeah. say like, you had all this whole experience, but I mean, ultimately we, we came to the same conclusion, right? Yeah. Uh, through our own means, right? Yeah. I, think that, I think that's what it's about. I don't know. I, I don't have a problem with how, however you want to do your life. Just don't yeah. Don't be a negative impact. That's yeah, kind yeah, of what yeah. I- you're, Again, you're free to believe whatever the fuck you believe. Just don't like hurt or inconvenience others. Yeah, yeah. Know? Like what, what pisses me off is when people try to put their beliefs on other people. Like yeah. I have my core beliefs and I firmly believe them, but I would never try to say, hey, this is my experience yeah. and you should experience and believe exactly the same no, I hate that. Me. I fucking because hate that. because to me to me you can't you can't force that upon someone you know no. you can you can raise a kid but I hope my kid goes through the exact same thing yeah. that I went through when they realize fuck I ne I need to like decide this shit for myself yeah, yeah. and yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of people watching this that have never thought about this deeply and for, you know for for that's that's not exactly a bad thing because it's something that I never had to think about until I had some experience that forced me to like put myself, yeah, put me in this it, position it, it, to think about bizarre, it. It's bizarre though, isn't it? That you can just go your whole life and you've been you've been raised to believe a certain thing yeah. and you just never questioned it. Yeah. That's what I always found quite like odd because mm -hmm. I always, always questioning everything mm -hmm. from like the get go. Like yeah. anything they told me, I was like, no. Yeah. I, I want to, I don't believe <laughs> You know, which is strange because I, I, I guess that's why I'm so adverse to stuff like that. Cause yeah. ever since a young age, I can remember, I was the annoying kid who was like, no, I don't, I don't think that's right. <laughs> You know, but that's just because I, I don't know how I, I don't know why I got that mindset from, but I've right. always been like that. I, I guess just some people just don't really question things because they just think, oh, if I just follow what everyone else believes and if yeah. I just follow the crowd, then nothing can go wrong, right? So you're telling me I'm a Sigma male. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, joking, I'm, I'm joking. saying that you're a leader. <laughs> sigma yeah, male. You're a, you're, a, you're a leader in your own mind, right? I don't know. I, I, Oh, yeah, it's I just strange. think some people just have never thought that deeply about yeah. it, and yeah, that's fine. Yeah, well, yeah. There's, there's a lot of people I've met. Live your life, dude. It's all there's good. a lot of people I've met who are just happy. Yeah, if you know, you're they're, happy, they're who just gives a shit. Satisfied, and yeah. they've they've never like they've. They, Honestly, I wish I was more like that because yeah. my, my God, like some people- Out here I, an existential crisis in the bathtub. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. members of the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster are like, we're fucking happy, dude. We got, yeah. we got a fucking spaghetti monster on our side. We, we good. <laughs> yeah, for me, for me, I just think, just don't try to put your beliefs on other people. Yeah. Try to accept what anyone else believes, mm. even if it's like different from yours. Mm. You can believe what the fuck you want. You can, like, if people want to hear about your experiences and give you that opportunity, mm. then go ahead. Ahead. Tell your experiences, tell your beliefs. But if 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 they're not interested, which a lot of people are not going to be interested, then just give don't, them that don't space. Don't get offended. Yeah. Then don't get offended. Yeah. And don't yeah, get offended when they really, believe something different as well. I never really understood that whole aspect of it, getting really angry about other people's- uh, <laughs> Well, like stuff. being like, how dare you don't believe the same thing I believe yeah, in shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I never got that either. <laughs> 
It just, it just seems very like, I, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It's like, you're very like, like self-concerned about like yeah. weird. fitting yeah, in or s- and shit like that. It's I like, just, fucking, just who cares? want people to be comfortable with someone. Yeah, who cares? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I guess uh, if you have a, 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 a dietary requirement, yeah, well, it's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like one meal of my life that we won't be able to eat pork. Like, I'm, I, I, think, I think I'll be all right. Like, I'm not offended. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, like, I it's, it's fine. I'm dude. good, yeah. I'll, I'll, you know, and even then it's like, it's, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of strange. I don't know. It's deep. It's deep. To so go in a bit of a lighter topic before. Shitting. before Shitting. <laughs> Where's the poop? There's not enough poop in this episode. I just shit myself. <laughs> so I've been addicted to like a new type of video recently. Oh, for fuck's sake. Like you, you, oh, you I know, know what you tweeted about. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, it's like sometimes, sometimes the YouTube algorithm just works in like mysterious ways, right? You know, a qu- you know, a, sen- a story that starts off with that sentence isn't going to lead to no. anything. <laughs> yeah, so like, so like, uh, so, so like I, uh, I, I get this video recommended on my YouTube, which right. is like, oh, uh, I watched this someone video. shearing cow hooves and like they get instant relief from bubbles. Oh my God, and I've seen like, those. <laughs> yes, I've yes. Seen, I've seen them too. Yeah, it's, so it's, I was like, it's I was, good, I was good, like, what the good. fuck? What, what yeah. is this? What is, why, why, why does YouTube think I'm gonna There's, be interested in cow hooves? I, I, I have that section of like, Videos that I would never subscribe for, but are pleasantly surprising when I watch them. Yeah, stuff like restoration, uh, cleaning cars. Yeah, um, there was one that was like testing mouse traps, <laughs> and this guy worked on a farm, and he just had like every single goddamn mouse trap on yeah. earth. Yeah, yeah. And it was just like weirdly, like like weirdly, like kind of like, oh, that's cool how the trap works. Yeah. Also, I'm watching mice die, so I kind of feel bad. I feel I feel the same way about like guys who own like massive ant farms and stuff like that. Oh They're like, yeah, keep, yeah, keep yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, like, that yeah, makes yeah. me so anxious. Yeah, the whole living it's room. Like, damn, it's like damn, uh, like whole living room. Like one fuck, ants. one yeah. fuck up, and like and you're, you're just, just it's just ants everywhere. Ants everywhere. You you burn the yeah, house. Yeah. Needless to say, I mean, he he doesn't have to invite people over. Yeah, true, true. I think he gets out of having to have the friends over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I would invite you, but I've got the end phone. <laughs> yeah, I remember just watching the cow hoop videos, and I was—I've never been—I've never seen something that I've been that is like disgusting, but weirdly relaxing as well. It's—it's it's, yeah, it's this. It's because that shit comes off so clean. It's—it comes off so clean, yeah. and just it's kind of like. You know, it's it's, it's kind of like scratching an itch or something like that. Mm. You know, where where it's just like it's see, like, it's like the ear videos. I don't, I don't get yeah, just just like seeing the seeing the pus come out of like the cow hooves. It's like disgusting, but like for some for some reason, when you see the words instant relief in the title, you're just like, <laughs> I'm happy for the cow, man. I'm I'm happy. Yeah, thank, some, at least the cow's happy. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank God. Something of it's something about instant relief in the title is just like I feel better now. I feel better for the <laughs> what, cow. What it's we, disgusting. What we used to just do with cows if we did what do this were they just like chilling just with their like disgusting toes yeah they were just like just you know standing out in the paddock just chewing grass being like well i'm in insufferable pain right now but you know what am i fucking gonna fucking yeah because because like like evolution kind of fucked up there like my feet don't just collect shit uh, yeah unable to clean them Yeah. yeah Because like these these cow hooves are like fucking hard. Because the, what they have to do used to shear them was like razor sharp, and they yeah, can like yeah. barely barely get through yeah. them. So how the fuck these cows can survive without humans is just beyond me. Because I've seen some of the probably cow videos. We put them in like fucking cages. Didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe, maybe the reason why like you know when cows tip over and they can't get up, it's not because they can't get up, it's because they don't want to fucking get up. They're like, <laughs> oh, oh, relief, oh, thank oh, God. I don't blame them, man. Oh, let my feet breathe, yeah. Jesus. Because like how I imagine it, it's just like the worst ingrown toenail you've ever had, but you don't Ugh. have anything to cut it. Yeah. And like, I've, I've had some pretty bad ingrown toenails. So I feel some kind of spiritual connection to the cow, just seeing this pus come out, right? If, if Gaunt were to make a video like that, he put like instant relief, hashtag relatable. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh shit, if it's relatable, yeah. I feel you cow. <laughs> me, me using a toilet, instant relief. <laughs> yeah, instant relief. Satisfying. <laughs> oh! 30 minute compilation of you using different bidets. <laughs> instant relief. <laughs> Bidet compilation. Hashtag relatable. Oh, this one is very Oh. <laughs> I went to a restaurant. I did want to vote it down one star because the toilet had no bidet. It was a really nice restaurant. They didn't have a bidet. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Gotta go go to my meal after I've just wiped my ass like an animal. Disgusting. <laughs> Well, maybe they expected you to like finish the meal first. Why are we going back to bidets? Sorry, you, 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 you he said, mentioned you said mentioned bidets. we weren't going to go he back to bidets. shitting. It's not shitting, it's not shitting, it's bidets. Literally, it's bidets. literally one week later. It's not shitting, it's bidets and I love them, okay? Only on trash day, spirituality, bidets. <laughs> I want a bidet installed in every chair in my house. Why? When are we getting Toto fucking sponsored Conan trash did taste bidets? Conan got to go to the, the Toto museum or whatever. Toto. Can you sponsor? I want to go. We sleep. should do a bidet 
bidet like rating challenge. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd, bidet, I'd be down for can that. Can we do a bidet, bidet, bidet <laughs> bidet, I'd yeah. be down for that, man. I'd be down for that. <laughs> oh my God, I want to do that so bad. I don't know. It depends though, you know, because some people like uh, different strength and stuff and some yeah, machines yeah. can't quite get the strength. That you yeah, need. exactly. Also, it's like, how accurate is that first is that first like- Is that first strike? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Sometimes the water is too cold. Is yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta heat up. Not the right time. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> Toto, call us. Anyway, no. that's uh, for a future episode of Trash Taste, yeah. I guess. That's been Trash Taste. You know yeah. who else likes bidets though? Our patrons. They wish they could have Toto bidets installed in every house. You know, one day we might get a Toto Trash Taste collab of like some Trash Taste bidets, but you know. All these patrons who believe in their ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe <laughs> don't believe or in ghosts. Or maybe don't. It, it, it doesn't Depending matter. on the tier. Yeah, this yeah. guy might not believe in ghosts. Yeah, this might. This guy might. You know? Do, uh, next, you know what? Next tier is fortune telling tier. <laughs> I've decided. We'll send you a message that how, predicts how your fortune. You, how can you do a can fortune do a, Can we do a Meridian? send a generic one out to everyone. Can we do a Meridian line tier list oh of like God, which ones are believable, which ones? I'm done, I'm done. This episode is finished. <laughs> All right, but uh, if, you, if you enjoyed the show, make sure to uh, subscribe to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on subreddit or send us your memes on the subreddit. Follow us on Twitter. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. Fuck, I fucked that up first time. No, oh my no, God. No, no, no. Yeah, nice. losing it. I'm losing Bye. it. All right, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>